Uh, that's that, sunshine. That's that, yeah, that's that dreaming music right there. You get to dream on that shit. You know what I mean? I Back on Fig, man. We in the building, you know what I mean? I know I'm an hour and 15 minutes late, but don't worry about nothing, you feel me? I had Apollo on going crazy one time. Uh, I had my boy Tiny. I uh, Hopefully he didn't show his ass just today. Oh you feel God. me? Uh, we gonna, we need to holler about that when he come back, man. I think they they doing their thing right now. You know what I mean? You can't smoke in the building, man. So they got to go hit some dope. You feel me? But I still got my boy <laughs> King right here. Uh, <laughs> he ain't got to hit no dope. You feel me? He, he off straight cup. You feel like he off straight coffee cup. Or oh, whatever, oh, you feel me, but lattes. Yeah, we in this motherfucker, man. I kicked them niggas off, man, but it's all good, cause you know. Why you can't yeah. kick like that though? I kicked y'all people, off. People gonna wanna know. I just wanna know. Like I, both I of y'all did. I wanted like both of y'all yeah. came in and Chelsea. I, shout out Chelsea. Okay. Y'all came in like pressing and then we didn't even start immediately though. Like, so what was that really about? We trying to figure out. What was that really about? Y'all didn't you didn't start. I was start just making fun. You just making fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just making could, fun. We could have kept going. Y'all could have kept going. You would have took that as well. He life. was just upset that he was late. I was just upset that I was late and I had it set for six. And I don't do that. Usually I'm probably like 15 minutes late maybe. Every show, you know, they always going to say I'm late. But yeah. an hour is crazy. I don't give a fuck if I'm not scheduled today. But it's just like almost kind of like you can't disappoint the fans. Okay. If they say, bitch, if I say 6 o'clock, bitch, you <laughs> better be here. came here like this, homie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just fucking around, though, with the homies, you feel me? But that's crazy, you feel oh, me? Like, shit. y'all niggas want to talk about shit anyway, you know what I mean? Y'all had Vince in here. We had it going, for sure. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all had traffic in Vince here. Vince not allowed to come on the back on Fig, though. Oh, Vince not allowed to come on back on Fig? Oh, no, nah, he not allowed to come on back on Fig, bro. Oh, that's out. That's crazy, that dog. Cause that's you know what I mean. I I What's tried up? my best to get Vince in here. I was like, you know what I'm saying. I hit Vince up at least probably about four five times. Oh, you times. did for real? real? For real? In real life, I hit Vince about four five times. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. So this nigga okay, lying. You. So this nigga's lying. Oh, that's what I'm saying. This nigga's nigga lying. lying. No, no, so Vince, I didn't hit you four or five times. At least three. Twice. We can look you, at the. You counting count the white man? Are we? <laughs> Not the white man. Why you like? Okay. Are you actually? Oh, we shouldn't count that. No, that don't count. Damn, but I didn't know though. You gotta look. Look, see, all my homies have to give me a pass because I didn't know. Look, man, we about know. him and we like the nah, past. We're we not even going there. I ain't even talking about that. I'm just saying in general, like I just wasn't on that at that at that point in time. Yeah. And yeah, nigga, that's not what happened. You hit me twice. I said I was on a break. Okay. And then that was it. And, and then you and, came and, off and, a break. And you hit me and was like, hey, nigga, you said you won blah, blah, come. And I said, all right, that was three <laughs> oh, days ago. real extortion But that was three on. days ago. I know, bro. <laughs> bro God damn. Now, but look, that was three days ago. And I'm here right now. And this <laughs> nigga talking about ago? four, five, hey, seven, no. three days ago. I was like, hey, you did Joe Buttons and all that. Hey, that's out, homie. I can't take it. I'm going to crash out, bro. Please. <laughs> Cut it back off it. Bro, I got I to gotta holler at you, homie. But I'm not even holler at you. I just... I just felt like you one of the people that I really resonate with, that I really fuck with, that I feel like, you know what I mean? When I was like, when I when I start something new, come fuck with me. You know what I mean? Like I understood, you know what I'm saying? When I was on that other platform, you like, hey, look, check this out. That's what I'm not doing. I said, look, but I'm gonna start my own shit. When I do that, you feel me? I'm gonna holler at you, you feel me? Then I come back months later, you like, damn, you really start your own shit. But you just one of the niggas that in the you know from where we from in the ghetto like doing it how i would really want to do it like you doing it how i really want to do it you took the steps to do all that shit and it's kind of like you are like a like you said like you a younger him and he calls you better than him he calls you better everybody better than him he calls you better than him he's like he a better me he, I mean, he could be capping. I don't know. He think he say everybody better than him. Niggas know ain't nobody better than Q like that. That's just that's just his brand. That's what he like to get off. But I mean, <laughs> I think I think oh, I, little, oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Yeah, like he oh, like, that's his whole thing. He playing humble. Nah, he is humble, but yeah. that don't mean a nigga right. Just because he's. Yeah. You feel like he was always humble, even when you first met him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm like being close. Like up close, I didn't feel like he was humble. I felt you, like well, that's what I was about to ask. What you mean, like it? The, I feel like sometimes we think we not humble if we have like a sense of confidence. He always been confident, but um, he was always like respectful and helpful. 
Yeah, yeah, you nah, I would say that, that too. So yeah, that's for the, sure. I would say he was humbling that way. Okay. But he wasn't like you gotta have a bravado on some rap shit. Like it's, you gotta feel like, especially all the shit the niggas was doing, bro, and going through, nigga. Like it was dry out here for a long ass time. But so you first of all, how, how old are you? I just turned thirty, like some you weeks just ago. Tur- okay, cause you were a super intelligent, insightful young man, homie. Ahead of his time. And I, I asked you a couple questions. You gave me a gang of paragraphs. I started to be like, who the fuck this nigga talking to? When I had to read it, and I didn't, I read it more than once, and I'm like, damn. Cut right. You know what I mean? Because I'm an argumentative motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I want to get off my point mm-hmm. and tell you why you should be doing it if I ask you to do it or something. like, Or you say no, I want to be like, oh, no, you should have did because I said this, but you like, this is like, don't even play me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at it, I'm like, and then just... You know, now I'm like, like, like I said, like, I, I feel like I resonate with you just because of the ghetto shit. You know what I'm saying? Because of where we from, you know, we, we might come from the same beginnings and all the whole little shit. But I'm I'm just like researching a whole bunch of other shit you've done, interviews you've done. It's just the way you articulate yourself and break down shit. And I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? Like, this nigga really smart. Like, he really can help me. I really got to take heed to a lot of stuff that he talking about. And it's kind of like, bro, like. Where, like, no, when, like, when did you start, you know what I'm saying, using that? Like, you feel me? Like, because I feel like when we in the ghetto, we kind of dumb ourselves down for niggas. And that's kind of like when it's, I don't know when you start saying, you know what, I ain't finna dumb myself down for this shit no more. Uh, I mean, to be honest, bro, um, it depends at what point. Because professionally, I mean, Kim done know me for a long time. Like, I ain't know what I was doing. Like, you know what I mean? For a large point of time, I was just around. But I, I stopped going to school, like, real early. So, um, I think, like, first semester, no, like, third semester, 10th grade, I stopped going to school. So, I was just around, and I was just, you know, idle, I guess. And that kind of put me around music, but I, I, to this day, like, I don't really know much about I try to learn, but I don't know a lot about music. Um, Everything I know about music, I learned when I was already doing it. So I'm 17, 18, trying to figure some shit out. And uh, yeah, 16, 17, 18, trying to figure some shit out. And I don't know what I was doing. So, you know, I asked questions and they always helped me. Like, he can, when we was on tour the first time, I could do know how to perform. I didn't know how to talk to people. I'm not like a social nigga. Like, I only talk to people I know. Like, I don't like to talk. I don't like to argue. I don't like to do none of that shit. But yeah. it's part yeah. of your job. So I had to learn how to, you know, do shit like that. And, um, I think personally, I was just lucky to, uh, you know, my, my parents was with my parents is and my older sister was fucking around a little bit. So all the extra shit just like there, you know, that ain't, it don't really mean nothing to niggas. It's not like niggas is like on a conquest to be like, oh, what's finna, you know, where I'm finna be from? It's like, it just happens. And then yeah. you, we came, we had clicks and shit. So it's like you from a click and then one day somebody gonna say, hey nigga, y'all better pick. And then you gotta pick. And then hopefully you make the right choice and don't die. Like that was just always in the background. but. As far as me as a person growing up in Long Beach at the time I grew up, um, it wasn't really cool to like try to be another nigga. And it wasn't cool to like be outside of yourself. Like a lot of the kind of commercialism and a lot of the um, just, I don't know, like the materialism and things of that nature. Like I ain't really grow up with that. So that helped me navigate this shit because I really don't care about none of that shit and I'm never gonna pretend I do. But just being from Long Beach and like being from the weird city you know, with the weird niggas, like, <laughs> it helped yeah. with music because I don't got to really fit in. But I think as far as just professionally, just getting information from niggas and asking questions and getting your questions answered and not getting butt hurt when a nigga tell you that you're doing it wrong if you see that they know how to do that. You know what I mean? And that's just, like, with the conversation we had, we all make mistakes in this shit. So I just have made mistakes before, and I've not noticed things that I shouldn't have noticed before. And... The one thing about it is I don't believe in telling niggas do this or don't do that because nobody did that for me. Like I was saying earlier on fucking Apollo, Q was like, yeah, if you want your music to work at the shows, it got to be faster. He didn't say make faster music. You know what I mean? So when it comes to media, I didn't have motherfuckers twist my words. I didn't have I didn't have motherfuckers that's not black try to be like, oh, yeah, we finna ask you a question to judge these 12 things. It's part of your record label press rollout. Oh, yeah, we going to say judge these rapper chains 
or just these things and these things just happen to only be black people only be your peers but this the shit that the label told you to do i ain't i ain't, I ain't never had a chain in my life like or kept you know you just do one of them once in a while but yeah I ain't never, you know what i mean that's just not my <laughs> that's not yeah. my shit so yeah. um yeah fool i think niggas just got to share with each other and help niggas because if you don't it's over with yeah but in this do you feel like when you see me and you first see me doing this shit do you feel like Damn, T Real, I think T Real making a mistake, bro. Nah. Like when you first seen me doing this shit, like what was your first impression? Cause I, I, I felt like niggas was kind of proud, but at the same time, like I ain't support that shit. Like, but you know what I'm saying? We're, I don't even, I don't even think it's a matter of support, cause it's like you know everybody has they um, it's business, bro. At the end of the day. You can only leverage what you have. You have to use your leverage to try to gain something. There's starter capital at the end of the day. So when you're starting a business, you have to have starter capital. Now, wherever that seed funding or things like that come from is where it comes from. You don't get to pick and choose those things if you're trying to start something. So when you essentially you launching a business, so however you can launch that business, that's how it has to be done. And if niggas ain't going to give you that seed capital, then what the fuck is we talking about? You know, you got to kind of put the business first. So my whole thing is. It's not even I don't got no gripes with I don't even know them niggas I don't got no gripes It's just certain things that I see I, I don't really fuck with Cause I be knowing niggas In real life You yeah. know what I mean So it's like Certain things just got a little Too tricky for me You know what I'm saying Yeah I mean I appreciate you Coming here man And and I express To Q You feel me I don't wanna use I don't wanna use These uh, outlets that I have you know what I'm saying to my advantage. I don't want to use it to my advantage until I felt like it was right. But you know, at the time, I'm like, call Vin Staples. <laughs> no, I ain't even lying to you. I'm like, call him right now. You feel me? Because I think this is the light. You feel me? That I need to be in, and I and I want to, you know, I want to be with y'all, and I want to fuck with y'all. And I want to be, you know what I mean? I want to be in that circle. You feel me? A nigga's like really taking this shit serious in whatever thing that they do, whatever craft that they, you know what I'm saying, that they're mm -hmm. indulging in. Like, I want to, you know what I'm saying? I want my niggas to accept me. Like, okay, he he really fucking with this shit. You feel me? So at the time, like, hey, 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 call this nigga. You know what I mean? Because you want a nigga, I, like, I look up to you. You feel me? Like, you a creative young nigga, man. You like everything you're doing, creativity. You ain't out here, like, going crazy, boasting and blasting on what's, what's going on. Like, and you ain't like, you know, like, you ain't even really, you know, it's kind of like people know where you from. But it's just like You don't have to like Put that shit out there All the time Like <coughs> you and Q Like are, are the best At that shit Well it's funny You go on tour Don't nobody care About that shit fool Yeah Like it's funny Like you know Niggas start going to Placement Niggas uh, All that other shit Like that Like you gonna run Into somebody Who don't give a fuck And then you learn That that shit Don't mean nothing yeah. And I, like with me Like I got I done had you know Oh, I got I got all the sob stories like you And that shit Don't mean nothing At the end of the day You feel me Like you see your parents You see what they go through Like, like my mama got it's a lot of us niggas. So, you know, you got paralyzed niggas. You know, I got niggas. And my sister got shot up at the casino. We had to drag her into the car in Hawaiian Gardens. Like, niggas, like, eight years old. Like, that's... Who who want to pretend that that shit is cool? Yeah, right. That's always been weak to me. I don't like niggas like that. I'm going to be real because it's like you perpetuating some shit that really just need to be over. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, it's a reason that that kind of stuff gets leaned into. Like, if you know, you know. But I don't... Bro, I ain't never probably when i was younger but i don't in my adult years like even a teenager i ain't never been the type of nigga to be like oh i'm whoopty whoop from whoopty whoop like nigga if if i don't like you then i'm it's we on that and then we can we gonna see who go home at the end of the day but that ain't even right so it's like all right if i got opportunity to like that's why i got oh, that's man. why i use my uh, my real name because it's like i got i got sick of the other shit ain't nobody called me my name my whole life that's <laughs> crazy so it's like that's why I don't got no rap name. I remember we was in uh, the studio, and I just had a song, and Sid, um, Sid and Earl, I was recording something for uh, one of them. One of them was recording me, actually. And he was like, what you want the name to be? I was like, shit, I don't know, just put my name. And that's what happened, you know what I mean? It was never like a... That's how you got your rap name? Yeah, I just used my name, because... That's hard. You, you, you know, you know like, name. when I got to, yeah, when I got to uh, LA, bro, we was recording in the hood, but it ain't feel like it because I didn't have none of the pressures. So it felt good to be able to introduce, oh, my name is Vince. Like, with nothing else. 
that was refreshing because we don't grow up in that shit. You know what I mean? And even for niggas that's not on that, it's like, oh, my name is Whoopty Whoop. I don't bang. Like, yeah. that's redundant, nigga. I got sick of that shit, especially, bro, when I was young. I, I did some stupid shit. I had to go to Atlanta. I came back home when I was gone. One of my homies that got killed. And um, that shit really fucked with me because I wasn't there. And when I came back home, everybody was just like, most people was like acting like it didn't happen. And he was 15, I was 14, so that's like, um, no, actually, actually, I think he was 14, I was 13, so it's like, and he got killed by like a grown nigga. So it was just weird to deal with as a kid, especially being gone and being like, all right, I'll be with you a lot. So that probably wouldn't happen like that. And then you come home and everybody life move on. I was like, yeah, I can't be doing this forever. Especially I got the paralyzed brother. My pops has spent his whole life in and out that motherfucker. My mama got fucked over with the shit. And my sister done got ate up. Like, what are we talking about? Some of the homies would call me weird for saying this shit not cool. This shit ain't, hey, that, this, this, ain't, this ain't cool. And they be like, you weird, homie. Bro, the homies used to call me Farrakhan. When I was in high school, though. like, oh, you know, cuz Farrakhan, he don't this, he on that. And I, <laughs> bro, I ain't never gonna forget this. This, this all is a legend. We was hitting the T, we was hitting the T-Mobile store in the eighth grade, and we was doing a lot. The homie did some burnt out shit. He get away. Niggas got we like way out in like down here, Santa Fe Springs, somewhere. I don't know where the fuck we was at. I don't know where he was at. I'm like, hey, bro, it's probably time to get on that bus. He looked at me and was like, you acting like a bitch right now. I'm like, nigga, we just ran from like four police cars and we in the nigga backyard right now. You don't think that we should probably go home. And he was like, nigga, we need to get this whoop I'm like, nigga, we talking about $300 on Craigslist. But when it's your identity, it's your identity. And it's deeper than, for a lot of the homies, it's deeper than just right or wrong it's this is who i am and if i lose who i am when i don't got nothing else then what's gonna happen yeah that's like, crazy that's like personally do you tell a lot of your homies that shit like do you like preach to them and tell them like hey, look yeah, i've been doing that out, shit homie. forever i've been doing that shit when we was kids but it's like it's now that i got older and we got younger like homies it's, it gets like it's a difference between being 30 and having younger homies and being like 18, 19 and having younger homies. Cause them is just your friends. Like I still remember my first little homie, my nigga TK, I was like, I was so happy to have a nigga that was younger than me around because I got sick of being around these niggas. Yeah. And it's like, now he a grown man and he got kids and we got we got a little homie who, uh, I remember when he was born. You get what I'm saying? Like that's my homie's son. Like, and I remember when he was born and being at the age to see a nigga be 15 and kind of make certain mistakes that I made like it hits you a little bit differently so now that i'm older like i try to do it but it's also hard when niggas knew how you used to be and now you're successful so i can't tell you no i can't i can't tell you like don't play with the yayas and all this other stuff if you know me from doing that and if you know me and him was doing this or me and him was doing that and i'm telling you not to do it to a lot of kids it feels like well you where you at so if you were you at and you did this then why i can't do this too so I think it's just making a better example with the music, making a better example with the shit yeah. you say, the shit you do. That's a hard decision going the way to make. Too. Yeah, that's that, that's crazy. Going through going through your rap career and shit like that, boom. You know what I mean? Like when, what? Well, like tell me your introduction. You know what I'm saying? When you and Q first met, you know what I'm saying? Like how was that? You feel me? When you guys first met? Before you get, to, mm -hmm. that's a good question. Yeah. But, so he did, do you feel hustled right now? I'm gonna ask you though. Q invited you only because this nigga told him to make no, sure I told I told him I was gonna go already. Yeah, he, oh, yeah. So he did say, you, you already confirmed? Yeah. But we, we yeah. I, I sped up the process. You sped up the process? Yeah, yeah, yeah I needed, okay, I, right, I, I sure. sped up the process. I think I, this I, is I a great I need everybody setting. comfortable, all right, for sure. So you don't feel hustled? <laughs> oh, nah, but I was gonna do it regardless, bro. It, it's the shit <laughs> we just, so nah, it was, it, I, uh, it was just the uh, shit that we was talking about with the verse, like, with me personally, it's like, all right, if, if a nigga, you fuck with a nigga and they ask you to do something and it's not going to hurt you, it's like you're not going out your way at all. You weird if you don't do it. That's just my personal opinion. And I don't, nobody got to keep my opinion. But if a nigga like, hey, can I get a verse and you fuck with me, you talk to a nigga, have a rapport, and right. then it's going to take you 15 minutes. If you don't give it to him, I ain't Beyonce, nigga. Like, I got time today. I ain't got shit going on. Yeah, 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 because niggas be taking a long time. I had to travel with the whole little thing, with the whole. Yeah, I get it. You know what I mean? I get yeah, it. That's just not me, though, personally. But yeah, nah, I never hustle, bro. And it's like, like I said, it's the conversations you have with niggas. Like, niggas I mean, because cool. you, he hit you up, he said, seven times. 
Or I he, said four. He added extras. But okay, extras. All right, but I yeah, added extras. Super chat. Stop adding extras, bro. Like we need to stick. Listen, what was it? Was it four or was, 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 was it? Was it was two? It was two. Maybe two and a half. Two and a half because the other half, the half don't count because it's for the other. Yeah, because you know, yeah, I hit the, I had the homeboy hit him. All right, for sure. All right, bet. <laughs> and out of, out of, even out of the one, two, and three. Out of the one, two, and three times, you said, nah, I ain't fucking with it. I say, yeah, every time. Oh, you say, yeah? You I do say, say yeah. yeah. I say, yeah, every time. I just yeah. said, the second time I said, just give me a minute. Okay. Hey, yeah. look, okay, hook up. We're going to go back to my schoolboy Q question. I'm going to hold that one. But in this, in this shit, what do you feel like, you know what I'm saying, I could change or I could be doing better at? What can I be doing better? Uh, shit, for me, one thing I learned is uh, organization. And even if you don't need it, everybody else might need it. Like, I, I used to be in the studio, right? Just to kind of make it come full circle, I would be in the studio. And I would be like, all right, this the outro, this the intro. Um, we need songs four, eight, and seven. And niggas would be looking at me like, what the fuck is you talking about? And I'm like, nah, I just need a beat for the fourth song because I got the intro and outro. I'm going to use this for the show and yada, yada. And it just wouldn't make sense. So I had to learn how to articulate, like, this is the BPM I need or this is the sonic I need. I start making niggas playlists to be like, this is how I want the album to flow with other songs that they might be familiar with. Just because sometimes when you think things um, kind of like, I would say fast or deeply, like, depending on how your thought process is, you can kind of leave other people astray. And especially when you're working with so many people, just being able to organize things pre-production meeting post-production meeting time stamps like if you know we want to get around here in the 10 minute mark we want to get around here in the 15 right. minute mark you said that's all the help he need that's yeah, it you go give him some so. advice a little so, bit of organization so did you feel like you was like that today a little bit let me ask you because you, you was just sitting right here with the apollo right yeah. kicking this shit him and heather just pulled up right here doing the shit right yeah, they didn't have joking. to do you like that they didn't have to do that right yeah, they didn't have to do you like that you feel like let me ask, let me ask heather let's start with heather did you feel like you had to do us like that well, I was just in the car with him, and he was just upset that he was late, uh -huh. and that Vince was here too. So uh -huh. he was just like, I told my fans that I was going to be on here at 6, I need to be here on time. And then on top of that, Vince was on the Apollo, and Terrell was like, I need to get... Oh, he didn't like that? I need to you sit down like and talk. Did he not like that? I mean... I mean... He was just upset that he was late. <laughs> I love this So he was right in here. a rush. <laughs> it's the calmest thing in the world. <laughs> he was in a rush, and it didn't make it no better that Vince was here. Yeah. On the Apollo. Yeah. <laughs> he was already upset that he was late, but we were celebrating my daughter's uh, second birthday. Uh, happy birthday. Happy so birthday. we had a happy reason birthday. to be late, but he doesn't like to be late. He told them that he was going to be live on 6. That's why he was like, wrap it up. Man, if I knew it was your daughter's birthday, I would have came tomorrow. See, y'all, y'all, they be leaving out the important shit. That's I'm what with I'm all saying. the fans. Yeah, it was I like on me. It was on me. I just lost there. track of time when I looked up. I was like, damn. Because he was having a good time and he was talking to his friends and he was chilling and he was like, fuck. Like, I thought it was five. It's 5.45 and we're just now leaving. So we got here 30 minutes late. So he was kind of upset. Okay. So all when right. he got here, he was like in a rush. All right. All right. For sure. For sure. For sure. You know. Hey, man. <laughs> don't, don't mind my questions. I just like, I like to get the offset going on. You know what's crazy? Yeah. This nigga nah. been like this the whole time. I have, That's right? That's why I love this nigga. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I love it too. That's why he's sitting here. You know what I'm saying? We just <laughs> be shit. chilling, man. You feel me, brother? I, I do agree with you to... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Pre-production meetings and stuff like that. It's very important. You know what I'm saying? Like getting stuff prepared and having stuff like that you know like talking amongst each other and seeing what's going on like I, I i am missing a few things that like key details i feel like in this shit that uh that, that take me over the top too but like again like i'm just i'm i'm only a year in by myself yeah you know what i mean like i, I was with somebody that i was already doing that so i'm just falling in just coming mm -hmm. and sitting on camera like i don't know what these niggas got going mm -hmm. on you feel me like what how much planning it went into this shit but now that i'm doing it myself it's kind of like you know and what i'm also, saying you gotta have that your shit insight, though i feel like, like we we into a lot of shit just as people and sometimes we might feel like, you know, it's not worth talking about or people not ready for it. Like, them small details. I just at least going in, like, music, you know, when I was, uh, just anytime I'm working on TV, like, writing or producing anything like that. It's like, you gotta, you have to utilize them small details because that's what makes shit feel, you know, vaster. So, I think, yeah, man, just not being afraid to, you know, pull a rabbit out the hat. Sometimes you gotta, you know. Sometimes. I was Sometimes it's Yeah, important. sometimes you got to do it. Let's get back to my schoolboy Q question, man. You first met him, you feel me? I mean, tell us that. Shit. Tell us what that was like. I wouldn't even say when I, we first met him. I met first boy, did uh, music with him. I knew him for like three years. 
Yeah. Until then, uh, she, I met him at Mac House. He kind of just told the story a little bit earlier, but his perspective is probably different than mine. Uh, with me, it's like, shit, nigga, you at, I'm at Mac Miller House. He here, Earl here, you know, Schoolboy Q here, Absol here. Um, J Juicy J was in that motherfucker one day. Future was there. So I'm just trying to learn how to make music because I didn't really know nothing about music at the time. And they was always helpful. You know, I didn't really talk to niggas like that back then. So he always, like, I guess, um, I don't know how, maybe maybe Mac played him some music or something. I don't really know because I never played no music for nobody. Like, to this day, I ain't never played a nigga a song. I need to work on that. But, um, yeah, just he was just helpful. Like, and he was always cool. And um, I think he just kind of, when a nigga asked me to go on tour, it was out of nowhere. And I, I, I did just go on Max tour, but like, I appreciated that because that was a big look for me. But, and yeah, it was just always game. Like, you know, it was like family shit, like talking about soccer and shit. I mean, it's always been that kind of stuff. <coughs> How was you introduced to Mac? Uh, shit, Earl had just came back from where he was at and I introduced myself to him at a house and he was like, yeah, I know who you are. Like, um, what's up with the music? And um, he was like, did you play him some? Cause you said you don't play nigga shit. Nah, I wasn't making music at the time. Oh, okay. I guess he just he really in tune with stuff. So I guess he just probably he probably see my name on like some world shit or something like that. I don't really know. I'm not from, I'm not sure. I only had like one project out. I put it out. It was like kind of hard to do and manage. And um, then I was like, yeah, I'm cool. I'm gonna try to you know get a job or some shit. And then he was like, I was like, I don't have no beats because it was, that was a hard process. Especially I'm not like a. I don't network, I don't go to parties, I don't go to the club, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I didn't grow up making music, I'm not from LA. I'm getting on the blue line to come out here. You know what I mean? So I don't really know nothing or nobody, so I can't just, where I'm gonna get beats from. This before Twitter and all these things was what it was. And he was like, yeah, I'll make you some beats come over tomorrow. And then I went over there uh, like in a couple of days and then uh, he had uh, beats all come back. I don't dry, I'll pick you up. He came and picked me up and said, he picked me up on, on, on. So Matt came and picked you up because you didn't have a yeah, way. Yeah, he picked me up on Artesian Downey in the apartment wow. building. He picked me up. He picked um, you up on, on Artesian and Downey? Yeah, in, in, in the bins with the scrape on the side, playing his music in Middle Street. Like, it's a white boy outside. <laughs> <laughs> he, you cold, yeah, he picked him up from my granny house on 89th and Hooper. Got out the car, you know, talked to my granny and shit. Like, he, like, and, and I, didn't, I couldn't drive for a minute. I don't know how to drive, so I was like older, cause I you know we ain't had no car going up like that, so I ain't no need how I'm learning type shit. But uh, yeah, yeah, we bust niggas around here. But yeah, actually, what that process yeah. like though, like you saying you was catching a blue line from from when you what's was that, at yeah. to like, mm -hmm. to broke red. What's that? Yeah, I was catching what's blue line. Right there, they got the homies right there. Yeah, yeah. 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 So he was like, just telling us the first time he met you. He said he loved you to death. What? And uh, he what gave you a hug at Mac House. This nigga, <laughs> I, 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 was, I, was, I was telling him like, I don't even know how you got introduced to my music because I never like played nobody no music. Now I used to sit in the corner and not really say yeah. shit, but now nah, niggas was always helpful and attentive and shit like that. Nah, you. Thank you. Switch with me. Bro, you, no, no, no. He yeah, could. You, he could. You could say. Mac, Mac was just playing your shit. He he loved you, bro. That was his whole thing. Vince Staples, this dude. Vince Staples, this dude. Vince Staples. Like I said, when I heard that you barely started rapping, and I heard that shit, I was like, oh my God. Like, come on, bro. So he went, barely started rapping, and his shit was just like. It was just like instantly. Just, some right. people just got that thing. Like, he was always supposed to do this shit. Yeah. I don't know what he was doing, bullshitting the rest of his. Uh, I, I was doing the same thing, too. I was doing the same thing, too. I was doing the same thing, too. I started rapping as a, as a grown-up, too. We both were just doing stupid shit. I don't know what the fuck we was doing. But well, what's that process like <laughs> catching that? You said the blue line? It's all so the way the, to the, Matt so Curry. That, that was later down the line. So oh, okay. At first, I was catching. We had just came back from land. I did some stupid shit. Fuck my whole family life up. So, Mom, I love you. Thank you for letting that shit go. And regretting, my mama spent all my pops pin money. So, <laughs> so, when we, so when we came back, it was just tricky because he wasn't fucking with niggas like that. What's up, pop? But uh, yeah, so we, yeah. Was at, we was at my uh, my aunt's house. She had a house in Buena Park, and that's when I stopped going to school. So I didn't really have nothing to do. It was this dude named uh, Chuck One. He lived on Janice, and, uh, and that was my dog. He always made music. His brother was from Gardena. Um, he was a battle rapper uh, named Ramio, and he uh. Him and DJs doing they lavish at the time. They was making music. They was always our friends. But I always thought them niggas was like interesting because it's cool to be like the weird homie. But like you still from the set, and it's yeah. like they were never from no clique. 
They were never from no skate team. They were never from no hood. They was always making music. I'm talking about in middle school, they was trying to make music. And we all got a relationship with music, but my homie Jay Curry, who's like my dog, and like he was from, the, from we was off from, in Long Beach, we had like five clicks at the time. It was Squad Up, you had little, little bullshit like Doc Squad and fans. And then you had the two main ones, the three main ones was, was uh, Squad Up, Flourish, and Flip. So basically them things up, transitioned man? in a different neighborhood. <laughs> and my boy Jay Curry, like he moved to Palm Springs before Flourish had got transitioned and niggas was like, you gotta pick. So when he moved to Palm Springs, he got heavy into the music. So he would always send me music. And like my boy Lavish, uh, we was at school and then he was like, we was at Jordan. He was like, oh, I was listening to a song on I He was like, oh, you know that song? I was like, yeah, it was like some far out. She was like, a, um, like atmosphere or something like that. But I grew up skateboarding. It's like, that shit sound like skate, skate park music. So I always liked it. And he was like, oh, I do this and this. And he, he started sharing his music. And then he had, we had went to Sid House one day because Sid was trying to open up her studio for the first time and record. And I met them there. And that was the first time I ever seen like a, like a black people with a house like that. So that shit like fucked me up. Like they had a house, the guest house, a backyard with the trampoline. My daddy had this, my daddy had this fucking Asian bitch once and her brother was a dentist. They had a big house. <laughs> so he used to take me, he used to take me to his bitch house. Like, you know, he didn't want my mom to find out. So they used to be giving me nice shit, you know what I mean? So I used to love going there. I was like, I was like, this some like Fresh Prince of Bel Air shit. Yes. But Sid had keyboards, pianos, all kind of shit. I never seen no shit like that. So when they left and he's like, I ain't recording over there no more. I'm like, nigga, you crazy. I'm finna go to that house. I was catching the Disneyland 460 bus. I would walk from Buena Park to Knott's Berry Farm. That's like 45 minutes. I get on that 460 bus. That's two and a half hours. After I get on that bus, I would either walk. Um, I would get off by, uh, what's that school? It's on It's on Washington. It's like a, it's a, um, it's a community college. Trey Tech or something oh, like that. Oh, LA Trey Tech. That's the yeah. grimy yeah. JC. That's so, grimy. So depending, <laughs> you go to that grimy. Yeah, you don't go to school. So depending on when that Max bus was in coming. Max the seat, fool. <laughs> Depending on when that bus was coming, yeah. if it got too grimy, it's like, all right, I'm going to walk or get on that skateboard and go down Washington and go to their house, or I would end up on that bus. So I was doing that. I'd be waking up at like 6, 7 in the morning because I wasn't going to school. Let me, to ask, let me ask you this. Mac Miller, homie. That nigga, act, that nigga all, he brought all of you guys together, homie. Y'all niggas tell me how special he was, man, because, you know, I, was, I didn't get a chance to really kick it around him. As long as you guys, uh, a lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying, y'all bond with him was just so, like, tight-knit, you feel me? Like, and you just told me this man picked you up from your granny house, nigga, he to was, come rap. Rhyme me over there, This too. nigga don't even rap. He picked him up, nigga. He picked, hey, I'm going to come get you, nigga, off down here. Where you at? Don't even worry about nothing this like. This nigga done picked me up in Watts. He done picked me up in Long Beach. Bruh. This nigga got me all kind and, and the funny thing about him is, like, he... He one person I can honestly say, like, I give a lot of credit to Sid, a lot of credit to Earl, a lot of credit to Mike G and Matt Martian, but they didn't change the way I thought about life. He changed my life, like, my perspective and made me a better person because I used to be confused. Like, why is this white boy with all this money fucking with niggas and not anybody with, like, some substantial talent? Like, he would sit there and, like, teach me how to make sure I'm on beat and, like, rap with certain energy. And like it, it took a long time. It wasn't like it took. I was over there every day, with nothing else to do for like months. And he was teaching me how to how to rap on beat, how to project. I didn't know. I didn't know how to ad lib. I don't know what ad libs was. I don't know what a metronome was. I, he taught me what all that shit was. He taught me how to what, what quantizing means, how to push it on the grid, and even down to like this is what certain keys are and shit like that. And then introducing me to people I had no business meeting because I wasn't at the skill level yet. Like. That was like a once. I was talking to his mom today. It's funny we talking about it right now, but that's crazy. Yeah. Did you yeah. always want to be a rapper? Never. So what do you think you'd be doing now if you weren't rapping? When I when I first stopped trying to go to school, I was trying to get a job at uh at, at uh what's that called um restaurant supply because the homie was working up there. Then I was gonna try to uh go to the port because a lot of niggas are getting unions and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But I was too young. I, I was. <laughs> 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 The That's a good hey, job, hey, though. Get, the poor get chicken. Hey, no. You get thirty dollars an hour. Yeah. Wait, how long was you thinking about? You get thirty five dollars an hour. Two years, you gonna be at forty five dollars an hour. I was six. I was sixteen. <laughs> I was sixteen, and my and my nigga RK was working at the port, and he was 16, like trying to get a job at the port is crazy. But RK had the beans, nigga. <laughs> you out? Right, this nigga crazy. This nigga lost his mind. Sixteen, trying to get a job at the port. He was trying to get to the benefits, looking like. 
Bro, my, ni- my nigga had the Benz, bro, the new Benz. You know how niggas had an old Benz. He had the one that just came He's out. He's trying to get that Bro, come to the set, bro, bro, bro. My, my nigga from the shine used to come to the shit with the vest on, kicking with the homies. I'm like, oh, nigga, this, I can do this, nigga. Mm-hmm. And going right up and down the street because I had honestly, I had never really been past Watts when I was a kid. My granny had a house on Hooper in like 90th. And then my grandparents and my mom, all them from Compton, and we moved to Long Beach. And then San Pedro and up. So mm-hmm. from Watts to Orange County to Hill Houses. Other than that, I had never really been to LA or nothing like that. So That's I didn't understand crazy. it was more to life really till I started meeting these niggas. So That's I was crazy. cool with a little port, you know what I mean? Get your little house in Big Speed, live by the right, white folks. Sure. Shout out Six, man. I'm my Big Speed nigga. Q, what did, let me ask Q this. Q, what did Mac teach you? Like, what did you get from Mac that you still use today? You know what I mean? Everyday life. Man, I'm not gonna even lie to you, girl. Like, the Mac thing still, I, I just can't talk about him no more. You, right? Like, oh, fuck, you, bro. You, like, you, I just can't. Those Twitter wars. Yeah, Y'all yeah, friendship. Yeah, 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 bro. It was a lot. That it shit was, was a so lot. crazy, it bro. It was a lot, bro. Um, I just can't, uh, you know. I can like mention them or something, but like going into detail about Mac is like, nah, I can't do it. So I'm not even going like that. Uh, you go ahead, you go ahead and give so us much, a story and cry. It was just so much to that nigga though, because the thing about Mac <laughs> is that lot, it was it was all pure. Yeah. And we not used to that. Yeah. Period. And you would think a nigga that. with that such pure energy have a hidden agenda and shit like Put that. Put it like this, bro. He he. We with the, the mixtape we did that he made all the beats for, and literally it took a long ass time to make. And he had patience. He was sending me shit while he was on tour. He doing spot days. Oh, just stay at the house. I'll be back in a couple of days type shit. Like, you feel me? There's some food in here. whoop de whoop Like, he was like some red in here. Like, he was that type of dude. When we was doing the paperwork for the thing, he didn't want to know. It might, it's a that piff release, but you still got to do paperwork if it take off. He didn't want to know no credit. He didn't want his name on it. He didn't want no royalty, no nothing. He said, if you make $10 million, buy me an E-Class. <laughs> That's crazy. E class. But he was dead serious. He said, "Put it on the paperwork," and it's it's on the paperwork. Did you buy him an E class? We didn't make two million dollars off that bullshit ass. No, he didn't didn't buy him an E class though. Yeah, you ain't get the homie E class. No, he's gallus talking about E class. Let's talk about that. He didn't get him an E class. Can you make two million dollars off of one song though? No. Okay. But it was a mixtape. It was a mixtape. But he was like, but the number's so crazy. Basically, the nigga was trying to say. I don't need it without saying I don't need it but gotcha. even like even going out of your way to like even waste your own time to like make a bullshit ass incentive you know a nigga never gonna reach just cause you know I ain't gonna wanna take all the money like shit like that was he was a cold nigga bro like bro I was performing at his show I had 15 minutes nigga it was the drums is on he had 10 openers on the tour that niggas only really came to see him and Action Bronson on shout out Action don't nobody do yeah. shit like that bro he, I, he literally I would say this though um he he got me like it was at the time where I was doing this, and he got me to rap because him like saying like I trust this dude. This dude is crazy. Him just playing mad music, Vince is anything Vince did, he would play it. And to this day, I feel like Vince, you still play me all your albums. Oh yeah, for sure. Every, he played only him. Only him. Only no, him. I'm, I'm in on some, I make music oh, shit, okay. but like, if I don't know him, like on some networking. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, like Vince, I feel like you play me all, every album, bro, before it comes out. And, um, but bro, like Mac, he's just like, I don't know, I'm just connected with a lot, a lot of people through Mac. And, um, yeah. I don't know where the fuck I was about to go with that, but. That shit always just throws me off. I don't know why. Uh, how did you even I don't meet? know. I don't know. My bad. Meet? How I'm did sorry. you even I'm meet her? How did you even meet him? Who, Mac? Yeah, how did you even meet on him? On tour. On tour. With who? Yeah. Who's your tour? Doc? Yeah. That Under the Influence shit we did? Yeah. I that's mean, when that's you met when that we nigga? got close. Oh, uh, that's crazy. That's when we got close. I was so high, I don't know how I met him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But around those days, but um, we got close on the tour. Now, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, but that. he like, um, yeah, he just... I did the ver- yeah that's what I did the verse for Vince bro, just off the strength of Mac. And I'll hold on. Like, and when he made the he song, he was like, like he was like I didn't I didn't really know how to approach the beat, and I had um, a different idea. And he was like Nah, do this because we I'm gonna get Q to do this. 
And I was like, nigga, don't ask that nigga to give me no fucking verse. I'm like, that's that's too much. I don't deserve that. He's like, I'm gonna get Q on this. I'm gonna get uh, Soul on this. I'm gonna get like they they focus. They listen to your music. Blah blah. Be playing this and that. In my head, I'm like, nah. I still got more work to do. And I did at the time for sure. But um, like it's funny that song. He was uh he. That's the one I was talking about earlier. He had me keep re-recording and learning how to do ad libs and stuff like that. And I think it was because he wanted him to be on the song. So he like, all right, he was tailoring the way that I was performing. Like, if you listen to that project, a lot of it is bumbling. Like, I don't really speak that loud. So even knowing how to project my voice and things like that, it's him being like, we need this for this song. We need this for that song. So even that, it, all he wanted was an E-class even out of that. He didn't, he didn't want to sign. All he wanted was an E-class no, really He didn't want to sign you or nothing like no. that? None of that. And it's funny. He was No, nah, he was always solid, and, bro. And I used, and I used, uh, when I did that, when I did that, uh, mixtape, it's funny because, uh, at that point in time, like, Corey was around me. He wasn't really managing me. Corey had kicked me out of the studio. I was banned from the studio. You should ask him about that one day because that shit was funny. But, uh, I was doing the wrong shit. So, I was, he was like, what you on? I'm like, yeah, uh, shit, I'm, I'm working with, uh, Mac Miller. He was like, really? I was like, yeah, he's like, how you pull that off? I was like, I don't know, nigga. Like, the nigga just be picking me up and shit. So then when it was, <laughs> so, so when it was time. Hey, Vince a funny-ass nigga, bro. This nigga's an idiot, dog. Hey. Nigga like, nigga, oh, yeah, no, nigga. When, when, it time, nigga just here, when, when it was time for the shit, he hit Corey, and they was talking. He was like, hey, y'all should try to shop this. And Corey like, what, you want to put it out on, like, a label? He was like, nah, nah, that's, that, that's a waste of time. But just shop it and say that we got more music, and that's how I got my deal. Because I told, I, I, I was just telling Traffic earlier, like, it was a bunch of hurdles with me getting signed, and he kind of helped me to come that because I was able to use the leverage of his name yeah. and get a deal, and that was his idea. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's not regular for niggas to do music. That's not regular, and I'm I'm saying, and I'm looking at this shit, it's just like, who did he come from? Like who was who? Like who did he come from? Like he was under somebody. Like himself. who the fuck taught that nigga that? Oh, was like, it was just like all organic. Mac was himself, man. That's yeah, crazy. No, that's him Mac coming in the game himself doing that. Yeah, no, nah, that nigga's. Like you was uh, a fan nah, of Mac Miller too. I that mean, is and he crazy. worked so hard too. I heard he was kind of. He worked so hard, hard, bro. He was kind of like popular in high school. Did you tell y'all that already? It's kind of like. He was always a standout for that's, sure. That's what high school. Well, that, going and going to his house, to be honest, and meeting his parents, yeah, but going to his house and meeting his parents and his people, he was raised right here, a good motherfucker. So, Mac, you know, Shout it's fucking. Shout out fun to Karen, man. Yeah, for sure. But Mac is like, you meet this white boy from Pittsburgh, and you like, oh, he cool, it's a white boy from Pittsburgh. You go to Pittsburgh, you realize he grew up around all black people, yeah. where a lot of his respect Shout for music, black people in general come from, but he'll never tell you that. He'll never be like, oh, yeah, I understand. And some shit like that will never come out of his mouth. And that's just respect and being like, a, he like he like once in a lifetime type motherfucker, in my opinion. Like, I ain't never met nobody like that. Never. And it made me start treating people better because it's like, all right, if this motherfucker can do this for me and he don't know me for nothing, then it would be wrong. That's what we talking about, giving people verses and working with people off mm -hmm. the strength of like just relationships because it's like, it was done for me. So if it was done for me, Anytime somebody hit me, I gotta I gotta pull up to the show. I gotta give a verse to traffic. I gotta give a verse to TL. I gotta give a verse to any any bro. Right? If niggas be like, I be doing something with niggas. Niggas be calling me like, why you do a song with him? Like that's not a good look. Like nigga, I don't give a fuck. Like you know what niggas come from and how hard it is to even be able to. My little homie is recording right now in the bathroom off of off of fucking off off. He he at the he at the fucking the scarlet red. Plugged up to the iPhone, got the iPhone over the chart over the shower. You gotta ask Vince for a verse. That's who you should ask. <laughs> He's real. not turning you down. Uh, listen, listen. Q told me I was nasty. Just he, never rap again. Careers. He was that bad. So it's null and void. It's okay. <laughs> null and void. It's okay. It wasn't like that thing he got when you rapped. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't say he was supposed to be doing this stupid, for life. Bro. What you was like on some sugar free? Nah. Nah, but I was trying. I was putting the words together. They was rhyming. Are you really ready to see him on the road like that? Like some like growing, not I would love to see off. that for Terrell if that's what he wants to do. To get on the road? Oh yeah. my You want to see Terrell as a rapper. If that's what he wants to do, yeah, I would love to see that for him. Hell no, <laughs> you will be hot. I love what he's doing now, though. You and know I what? Think that this is what he's is like. to do. You know what? Him as a rapper, that's out, man. Don't Hell do no. it. No, he dog. already too cocky. He burnt out. Yeah, podcast. he burnt out. He burnt this out. This motherfucker be a rapper. We gonna have to. Get, we gonna be getting down with everything. <laughs> He's gonna no, be fighting hands like bro. This I'm dude is. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine this dude being, being able to pop shit and like do it like 
Trenches. Shout out to Trenches. Oh, yeah. You, nah, you dangerous. You, be, you being a rapper is dangerous. Nah, because God, God, God put certain people in those positions. Uh, and sometimes I got to realize that, like, because if I had that, it's kind of like what Kanye say. Like, oh, I'm not going to be like this on the jumbo. I see myself on the jumbo tron. I'm going to go crazy. I might lose yeah. my mind. <laughs> yeah, no. he'd lose his fucking mind. <laughs> no, I'm not. What? I'm oh not. My God. I could be in a sense. You know what I mean? Like, I could yeah. go crazy. Do you feel like you hold, like, an influential position in, like, Long Beach or, like, the West Coast? Do you feel Hell like... No. no? I feel Hell like you no. do. Not you should have really. seen six. He was happy as fuck he was here because he from Long Beach, huh? <laughs> he God. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Six. Shout out my brother Six, man. On yeah, the shout out Six. He's from Long Beach. Leave my, leave my, leave my, man. Leave my nigga Six home, home, He got dreams. You don't feel like you hey, influence anybody? Yeah. Speaking of Long Beach, Daz hit me back today. Okay. My boy Daz hit me back and said he go sign the paperwork. You lying. You lying. <laughs> Dad, my, my boy, Dad. Yeah. You got a dad's beat? Nah. I'll tell him, Girl, tell him, put funny. it in context for him. Because he don't know. Put it so in context Blake for him. Basically, mm-hmm. I ain't been able to get paid for, pay for Blake Faith because Dad's never signed the paperwork. <laughs> That's some Everybody that got though. chili from it. That's some dad I'm shit. I'm the only one that get no chili from that motherfucker. That's wild. Dad's, dad's uh... He wouldn't sign the paperwork, but Daz hit me today and was like, I'm signing it, man. He like, I'm signing it. See, I've heard it. Is that nigga so, Long Beach or he in, like, Alabama? You know that nigga got, like, a duck off. Yeah, yeah. He got a duck off in the deep south. He got a deep south duck off. Dude, I seen it. I no, seen no, it. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah red red drunk. around this motherfucker. Yeah. He, he might be in fucking uh, <laughs> South Carolina or something. Dad's yeah. one of them motherfuckers. You see, you, you, one day you might see that nigga, like, tilling some crops, like, in the south, <laughs> and then one day he got a picture with the little homies, like, on Olive. It's weird. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Atlanta. I'm, I'm thirsty too. I shot like this little movie with this nigga too. I don't know who was shooting it. And I had a little scene with Cuz. Like, you was in a hood movie with Daz Dillinger? Yeah, that's it. Right. ain't out yet though, Cuz. If it ever come out, y'all gonna clown me. Shit. I hope this shit. What was your role? Like, like a year ago. If that shit ever come hey, chill, out. chill, I'm on Tubi right now. You hey, on Tubi I'm right on now? Tubi? You and TF. Oh, they got the same uh, deal. Hold on, Tubi got some shit. Don't do that. No, no, <laughs> no. Tubi got some shit. Y'all, y'all seen Fentanyl? Oh, because you an actor. I forgot. You oh, doing your actor? actor thing? Yeah, we on strike right now though. So you know what I mean? Yeah, we on strike. Yeah, right yeah, we on strike. Right now. Right. 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 Yeah, we I'm on strike. What the hell, y'all ass at Warner uh, Brothers? Hey, yeah, yeah. We ain't over there. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> we at the house. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait. So what shows have you been in and movies have you been in? I was in White Man Can't Jump with him. I ain't oh, been in, I ain't been in that much. I, I was in uh, elementary. I was in this animated a, animated movie elementary. called Motherfuckers. I was in a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, American Dad, oh, wow. uh, Family Guy, White Man Can't Jump, Dope. Uh, I was in the, the re-release of The Wood, but I don't know if that's gonna happen because the Showtime shit happened. Page. Let's see if he lying. Whoa! Then they got a catalog. Yeah, why yeah, you playing on yeah, the same yeah, yeah, Why you playing on me? <laughs> Who trying to put that shit on from Long Beach? Stupid catalog. Yeah, Long Beach, bro. Yeah. And that's exactly a stupid catalog. There you go. Long Beach. Yeah, so you can't. Now we get white trail on you. Oh, so you going into the actor thing? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's. Oh, let's talk about that though. Do you think the actor? You being an actor, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? And reaping the benefits of that is better than being a rapper? As far as what, though? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I would say just that and just stress. You know what I mean? Because you kind of, you uh, know. I think I think it's probably less stressful because it's not implicated on travel. Like, you don't have to tour and shit like that, and that get hard after a minute. Um, it's more organized. You know what I mean? Like, And it's little shit that you don't think about. Like, them niggas got food. You feel me like <laughs> catering is here. It's a bathroom, like shit that's like just there every day that you like, damn, these niggas, you know what I mean? Get a haircut for free. It's like shit that you don't get. <laughs> they in music, you, you kind of got to put up all the bread. Wardrobe like, a little different too in the acting shit too though. That's all the yeah, wardrobe. Yeah, it's yeah. different. So it's like, it's it's just, just who, who front the bill is a little bit different. So that does help financially. But I mean, it just depends, man. Like they just way different. I feel like um, you can get more creative with the film aspect of it but they relatively the same thing if you make music you do music videos you do press you do um you know fucking all this other shit appearances and things of that nature was essentially is the same thing you know when you get on that stage 
you have to remain in character of the performer. You don't know a nigga. Granny could have died today. You still got to get on that stage and do what you got to do. So I feel like we kind of have the groundwork to transition into it. They just kind of don't want niggas doing it because yeah. if you can write a song, you can write it. What they'll say is, oh, yeah, come be in my movie. But they'll never tell you, write it, produce it. But if you done major on tour, if you done had some sort of rollout, some sort of merch, then you kind of know how to do them things already. So it's a pretty easy transition if you really do the music. Do, you, do you plan on putting on the skirt? Oh, no, nah, I'm cool on that. No, I'm saying no. That's, that's no. He that's, got that's no. A that's thing. a, that's that's a, a real shit. Like, it's, 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 okay, look, look, but look. <coughs> okay, let me let me let me. It's a part of comedy, Ronnie. I got you, Ronnie Dangerfield, yeah, yeah, Martin like, Lawrence. It's, it's like, like a, a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Wait, what but, you think about that though? Like that niggas that have to. Um, do you feel that it is a thing when you gotta do like the skirt, the Medea hoe? No, no, not the Medea. You mean just for black people or just people in general? For black people, it's not a thing for black people because it is it's a part of comedy since the beginning of slapstick comedy. So okay. that's why I say it's not a thing for black Good people. Game. But we have, you know, Rodney Dangerfield, a lot of these people have done that. Um, but we, ha everyone has different ideologies that they follow and it is more of a stigma in our households because of how we raise. Like black people, we black and, you know, we fun and, but we inherently conservative people everybody granny go to church go to work go to school get married have some kids that's how we was raised nine times out of ten so but do, do you think a that's thing. a made-up thing because we do like to make up shit in our culture nigga, he nigga put on a dress nigga he finna <laughs> he finna go crazy illuminati that's yeah. that shit. like niggas make up shit in the household I, the dress on, <laughs> I think you know what I think, i'm saying but listen think about all the for the far as the we came up with <laughs> martin that's no, no. Martin did it. Okay. Y'all just name me somebody who didn't do it. Black. I know Dave Chappelle didn't do it, right? You mean comedians? I mean, but my thing is this: uh, actors, just actors, and comedians. Yeah. What's, 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 what my my thing is when you're doing slapstick comedy, that is a bit. What's the definition we, of slapstick? Give a uh, put that in context for the people that don't know what that shit is. Three I Stooges, that. that type of shit. Like whenever, whenever, whenever physical comedy, slapstick comedy, where the joke is kind of more forward. So when you got Lucille in Ball, color. um Lucille Ball is kind of remnant of Martin Lawrence in the sense of the facial expression, the body movement, rolling over on the floor, those things mm -hmm. are part of that shit. So when you got certain bits in comedy, then we re we, re we redo them like the piano falling on the nigga head. You watch a gotcha. Will Ferrell movie, something might fall and hit somebody on the head, food getting thrown in somebody's face. There's certain gotcha. bits that are like physical jokes, and that is a physical joke that is being used. Same thing you have Lucille Ball dressing up like Charlie Chapman, because in a in a world to where social norms are like a thing, especially it was way more strict Shout back then. Charlie Chapman. That was something that was rebellious. It's like this man is doing this and doing that now. After that, you have a point in time to where you can agree to do something or disagree to do something. And I feel like everybody deserves to have that choice to say, I, I will or I won't do that. If you had to pick one, though, you know what I mean? And they was paying you the chili. You going an actor or we going a rapper? I wouldn't, with acting, not really the thing. Like, if it's more so like all encompassing, like you're able to, like, Create. Direct, yeah, yeah, direct, the, yeah. You can write, direct, make the music, do all that stuff. So I would pick that one because you can still do music. You know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah, when you yeah. when you like with my show, I just I just did it's like, like fifty. Yeah, creating the creating the score and you know doing the payouts and things of that nature, trying to figure out how to actual actually be a music supervisor, how to learn how to be a showrunner, how to learn how to be a writer and a producer, things of that nature. It kind of tie in. You can really get that shit off if you do it right. Yeah, you're right. That's crazy. That's crazy. I, you know what I'm saying? If you choose a movie, you can't do everything at once. That's wild. You can't do that with music, low key. Like, you can't, like, you can, but you can almost. Like, but if you got a motion picture, you know what I'm saying? You got a movie, you can put you, every aspect into that motherfucker. Like, but Q, I want to ask you, like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really seen you, ain't really nothing, you know what I'm saying? Would you, are you trying to get into your acting bag? Time. Would you want to? You know what I mean? Hop into them pictures, the, the movies like that too. Um, honestly, if it presents itself, but I think um, my 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 duty is uh, a little different. I think I'm still uh, a soldier right now, and I got other duties I gotta do. And if it presents itself and it, it makes sense, and it's like perfect with my timing. I'm with it, but right now I gotta speak, and I have like another duty to do right now. And I and I think uh, acting, if it comes to me, like I said, it has to fit what I got going on. 
So you don't feel like you fully fulfilled the your music career? That's what you're telling me? I'm not even talking about music career, man. I got so much going on, like, in my life. Oh, life, like, period. Like, mentally and, like, music, too. And I'm still fighting. And um, I'm not done with that yet. Yeah. And, but at the same time, like I said, like, somebody like Vince, right? Like, he can do that. Me, I can't. You so you haven't, saying? so you like, haven't can't. have, you can't, can't, so nobody's ever <laughs> gave you a, 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 a script and you looked at it. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I so got you, a bunch you of got scripts. scripts. Yeah, yeah. You turned them down. And I even tried out and did auditions for certain things. And I thought I did okay, right? And I never got the part, but I feel like I also never cared if I got the part either. It was just like, I'm going to do it right quick. You get what I'm saying? Like, Keem, I tell Keem all the time, he send it to me. I do it right quick, and I'm like, Tch, I but really do you, don't. But do you do you think they probably read that you didn't care when you gave the uh, probably when you read the script? I mean, you can't fake nothing. I'm yeah. starting to feel that. Me yeah, I think he. For that. You can't yeah. fake nothing. Yeah, I I, did, I never wanted to do them. Yes, yeah, that's what it sounded like. You went in and there, I, like, and it was just me, so more so like uh, being ambitious and like just like, oh, you got this part role coming up, and I'm just like, all right, yeah, let's do it. Let's. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Keem is in something, and I just want well, let's do it. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, but. I don't think I'm good enough to like do that right now, like to be focused into it. Cause like he said, you have to really be in character, bro. And to disrespect that art form is like, you know, it's disrespectful. I yeah, like, sure. like when people be trying to rap and they can't rap, like you just cause you got like some YouTube view, not you. No, nah, you was talking saying, to me, like, that's no, cool. No, 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 that's crazy. That's, that's okay. I'm talking about like you, it's you okay. was rapping before you did YouTube, so stop it. <laughs> I'm talking about like YouTubers and shit or whatever they do, right? Yeah. And then they try to come to rap because they have just this fan base and it's like so disrespectful. You know, it's like everybody with me in golf, right? They like, they think I'm like this pro golfer, right? That's so disrespectful to these dudes that have been playing golf since they was four or five years old that really do this and practice every day. And just because I'm a rapper playing golf all of a sudden, it's like I just, I'm, I'm supposed to change the golf world. And, and, and it's so disrespectful, bro. You That's what I'm saying? Reflect so on like, that somebody too. like Vince, yeah. somebody like Vince, like he can do that. Like he can get into that world and give it his all. He can get into rap and give it his yeah. all. He can keep that. That thing. And it also, like, I, got, I, I can't. It just took a minute, too. I just, I just could. Maybe. And, you know, before Maybe, you finish. I don't know. But uh, I don't know. I can't say. Vince I don't want to just say that because it's mad actors with kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Vince called you Cap when I told you. I was like, hey, man, Q <laughs> said you, you, you the better him. You he know is. what I'm saying? You he doing it, and he was like, no, that everything nigga I cat. wanted, to, I wish I could have. <laughs> he said, that's a part of your thing. Like, like, nah, Wait, nah. He said, it's a part of your thing. What? That, I mean, everybody yeah. always say, <laughs> that. Zay, say that to, Zay, Zay say that too. Oh, I try to play like this nah, humble thing. Think, and I'm like, no, I'm dead serious. I think, he I, I think he, but that don't mean you right, nigga. That's what I'm But no, but like, but. But this, <laughs> like nigga, just nah, you mean it don't mean you right. But this narrative, but no, nah, I don't know. Just don't be, don't, I don't know. Don't give me that uh, narrative where I'm like trying to like, uh, I don't nah, know, the sympathy shit. Like, I'm not with that. You being a victim. Yeah, 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 I'm not with that at all. Not at all. But what I'm just, I'm just being honest. Like, when I, fucking, he can do everything. I'm a, we come from the streets. I'm not all out there. Oh, I come from the streets. He's the same thing. Yes, mm -hmm. I just said we that. make music. We make different type of music from what we do. He's the same thing. And to be honest, bar for bar, he's he raps better. If, if you talk about technical skill, he's better than me, rapper. I mean, you know, what? I'm I'm one. I'm, I'm I'm really good though. It's what I'm a, saying it, is it's, like it's artistically, I'm stuff. like nasty. I'm not saying I'm not like I'm one of the best. Yeah. Clearly, like to ever do it. That's all I'm saying. But you gotta add that part is, when you say when you say shit like that. But what I'm saying <laughs> is like. Your pen is like, I can't like, even the way you speak now, like I can't even speak like you. Yeah, I think, I think you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm like, I think uh, a lot of that, but, well. you, but you yeah. know me for a long time and a lot of that comes from yeah, trial yeah. and error and getting good advice from people. Like y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. didn't have y'all to give yeah, motherfuckers <laughs> 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 advice. <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> on fig. Ain't no education over there, homie. Yeah, it's like it's having to learn because it's fun. I, you know, you know, it used to irritate me when, when, I, when I do, when I do <laughs> interviews, right? Damn. And I used to do interviews and they would be like, you know how they, you get interviewed by a motherfucker who don't really know your music, they use there because of the label, and they be like, speaking to the mic. Huh? Yeah. What'd you yeah. say? Well, huh? I can't hear you. Wait, speaking to the mic. Hey, can you move that? 
And I was like, all right, I ain't finna have niggas looking at me like I'm stupid. Because then when they finally do meet you off of the shit, cause you know, we can't talk like this when we go places. You know what I mean? Niggas look at us like we crazy. Especially early on when niggas ain't trying to hear your music. Oh, yeah. So then niggas would be like, oh, man, you, you actually really smart. That shit is like demeaning yeah, as fuck. I oh hate no, that that's shit. Really that's, so, that's, really that's really disrespectful. That's a backhanded because I actually bro, came off hilarious. like that oh, too. Like when I first started this interview. You actually really, really a smart man. No. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah. Like, what do you but mean? But that's actually what like how I started this shit. I'm like, I like you because you smart. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I, it's, you know the difference. You're supposed to be dumb as a motherfucker, yeah, right? I actually said that shit in so many words. You like, started this off with saying that to this nigga. I swear to God, I was like, I like you. You articulate yourself very well, that. like you know what I'm saying, like it's, you're it, smart. It, it took a minute. A lot of that is just complex though, because yeah, I stopped going to school, like, and ain't wasn't nobody really dropping out like that. So I was like, I, right, I can't give niggas no like no excuse to treat me like I'm stupid. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. all, already the the kind of people that I came up making music with, as soon as they fans come listen to my music or come to a show or see you on the street, they off you. Because they used to, you know, Tyler and them and niggas joking and having fun and yeah. shit like that. And niggas see me on the bus stop and go, you Vince? I'm like, why, what's up? Not noticing what they even asking. So I had to learn how to get rid of all of that. Fifth said it first, man. Exactly. You better I mean, say what's up. what about the when the motherfuckers be like, you know what? Damn, like, you talking white. Like, because I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm expressing myself. Hey, no, no, I don't fuck. Yeah, hey, I ain't gonna lie, I don't fuck with that. That yeah, shit is that crazy. I don't that's fuck all, with that's, that. That's bullshit. I don't fuck with hey. that. I'm sorry. It is a such thing. As, uh, I'm care. No, I'm educated. I have an educated. No, you're white. I'm sorry. You're talking white. <laughs> He's no talking way. white. I feel like everybody. Yeah, I'm sorry. All of y'all no, talk no. very proper mm-hmm. from California. Y'all all talk very proper. I'm from the south, and we like have slang, and you know, everybody from all of y'all talk very proper. No, for sure, for sure, for sure. And you emphasize every syllable. Yeah, that's LA shit right Because <laughs> right? you got to watch your words. You got to make sure you watch your words. You got to watch your words. You got to your head around You know what you said. Also, also podcast shit, though. So, um, because you said earlier that you feel like he should do podcasts and shit, right? Who, Vince? Yeah. Yeah, he, he can right. definitely let me just ask teach you just on some shit, right? a lot. You in, that, you in that space right now. Who Who's the podcasters that, like, well before you? that you probably look to or fuck with? Who are some podcasters before you that you look to? A podcaster that I looked up to? Zero. I didn't know nothing None? about this. I didn't listen to this shit. I didn't research niggas. I wasn't looking at YouTube. I wasn't doing none of that shit. I wasn't even looking at niggas. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I wasn't even looking at niggas' that? interviews. That nigga was looking know, at them, nigga. Stop capping. That's what he wasn't. <laughs> That's what he was. That's what he was. Oh, yo, yo, yo. But, but who do you look know. at now? Because you do look, watch, you well, like right Stephen now, A. I look at, oh, I even look right right now. Okay. Right now, I look at Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. Like, you Joe know what I'm saying? Joe, Joe, Rogan, Joe be Joe saying, because you know what? Joe be smoking weed, and he do shrooms, and he just be saying anything. You know what I mean? And they niggas just have conversations. Like I, I look at, I look at I'm shit like that. I'm trying to figure out, like, because you know I mean? like on some. But before shit. this, I didn't look at nothing. But like rappers, is rappers got the same leeway to say they ain't got nobody they looked up to or seen or heard. It could be like that though. Like that. It mm-hmm. could be like that because just I don't like know he if said, that's like, like I don't know if that. I don't know though. How that this is a new. This is a new field. Like everybody ain't being podcasting. We wasn't podcasting when I was in high school, junior high. Nobody no, had no podcast. 15, I'm niggas, saying 15 years. Like, niggas wasn't talking. Our podcast was the radio. But I don't so think if anything, he needs to. Know. But if anything, it was Big Boy in the morning. Shout out Big Boy. Yeah, shout out Big Boy. If, that, if we Luke talking, that yeah, yeah. If we fame. talking about yeah. what we doing yeah. right now, as far as uh, YouTube. It'll probably be Big Boy, man, because Big Boy is like, you know what I mean? He doing his thing. But as far as me getting into this, I didn't look at YouTube and do none of this shit. I just start talking with my homies and the camera is on. And then people starting to like, oh, no, you got to perfect your craft. Now I got to look at niggas like who really doing this shit. I'm like, I'm finding my finding people I feel like I like. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it might be a white boy. You feel me? Like. Black niggas is just like us. You feel me? Like they going crazy, saying anything, pretty, really organic. And a lot of shit, I feel like it's not pre-production or nothing. Niggas just sitting there. You know what I mean? Like, so I, I do find, you know, I'm now I'm finding, and and a lot of them, I'm not gonna lie, they white. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like they up here talking amongst each other and it ain't no topic. You know what I'm mean? like? And that's what you really gotta really like how to really perfect this shit when you ain't got no topic on the screen and we just really doing it. Yo, shout out, like, shout out Danny Barrow too though. He I, killing I, this shit. I, I, I feel you, but they that's bullshit. They they doing what they doing. They know what they doing. You gotta think about it like this. When you watch when, when you watch the the Joe Rogan podcast or something like that. Yeah. The talent is keeping it within the flow of the conversation. Yeah. But this man got stats on him. He got names on him. So I think that's something that makes it top level. It's it's, it's also yeah. women are like when you think about late night television. All that shit is on teleprompter. But the way that you see David Letterman looking around and looking into the crowd, but he reading something out the side of his eye, like that shit is cold. I and I feel like black people, we just naturally are able to conversate. Yeah. So, because you just got to talk to a bunch of people, you know, you, you got to talk to different kinds of people. So, you can pull that off for sure. And I think the topics is what's going to separate a lot of this stuff because most people just talking bullshit. So, it's like, I think we all got dynamics that are interesting. Like, when Kim get on here talking about certain shit, and when Matt Webb gonna talk about certain shit, and when y'all talk about your family shit, like, that's stuff that people aren't dabbling into without it feeling corny like that's that's to me the most like the most important shit that y'all got because that's something that can't nobody else replicate we all can talk about what happened on the news yesterday but can't nobody talk about you know y'all daughter's second birthday party so while you there you at work you feel me that's the way i look at anything like no matter where i'm at i'm at work so if you hey, look daughter, but mm -hmm. in media do you feel like in hip-hop media do you feel like it's a lot of negativity in hip-hop media to where they're not like bigging up the artists they kind of like trying to tear us tear artists down i was finna say us because i used to rap but i was saying you know what i'm saying tear oh artists <laughs> down oh man you gotta relax have like you know what i mean <laughs> you have those God crazy damn. headlines for clicks <laughs> instead of like <laughs> building <laughs> the artists and let motherfuckers know what's going on with the artists and kind of like, you know what I mean? Giving that insightful information. I don't think that's even really the hip hop media though. I think that's just how people digest information. So if you just gonna scroll through your phone, scroll through your phone, the, the one thing that you're gonna see has to be something that's gonna make you stop scrolling. And when niggas is addicted to scrolling on their phone, like ain't nobody clicking on Vince had a good day. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's what's up. Yeah. You, it's yeah. no more insight into that. So I think it's just the way that people is digesting shit. YouTube is at a 60% drop off across the board because people aren't watching long form content no more that's why they're trying to launch shorts that's why instagram is doing what instagram is doing that's why you got TikTok, snapchat things like that like when people talk about movies and oh the theater is dying these industries dying albums are dying it's not necessarily that it's just that people's attention spans like it's hard for people to sit down for two three hours which is why when you talk about oppenheimer and barbie they was making that shit such a big deal because the movies was long as fuck so if you get niggas to sit in one place for three hours now nigga like you done broke the world do you feel like you be on your phone a lot, Q? Like, nah. where you feel like you just got to a point like, nigga, I don't, this is shit is fucking my brain up. I mean, you you be around me. Do you uh, do you see me on my phone a lot? Let's just be honest. Nah, because it's, it's useless sometimes. It's like, it's just like, you either trying to feed your ego or you're like, just doing this, right? Yeah. So I do it every now and then just to see I really use, I swear to God, I use my phone now to tap in with y'all now. That's it. That's Just crazy. to see. That's the only thing I use social media for. I don't read comments. I don't read, I may see one or two comments and I make sure they're good and that's it. That's what I be saying. That's what, that's what like, I'm saying. You know what like, I'm saying? I'll see one or two comments and I'll be like, that's all I need. That's it. Because once you dive into that, that's what I'm saying. You're just fighting this ego thing and it's like this false thing. Like as an artist, you can't like, just be it like we were saying earlier, like be a, like a, be grateful for what you have, the art, the talent, the gift that you have to be able to create from nothing, like the sound of nothing. You create something and like be grateful for that because. And just let it live. Exactly. Like yeah, just when let you that start, shit live. And when you start worrying about what people say or what people can do for you or all this help shit, when you are artists, it's like you're not that good. Like you gotta be an artist. Like you, like the whole word artist. Even now, like this 2023, me saying that sounds. It sounds corny, almost right? corny. No, seriously, like it almost sounds being, like being good at rapping is corny. Like that's like, crazy. It's like oh, you're a good rapper. You're corny. That's actually crazy. You get what I'm saying? Like oh, so I'm corny because I'm I'm nasty. Like, yeah, yeah, like the whole 
like mixed this is it's just so weird now so my whole thing is to stay true like to what i do and that's that's just like um whatever i get out of this is a plus i'm already me every day i wake up like i said i was telling him bro, he's vince staples cuz you king you t rail you heather you mac Watt, bro like no matter what happens, like we're we wake up every morning, we get to look in the mirror and be like, "Oh shit, I'm him." Like, and once you lose that, you don't deserve nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Once you put this material thing and all this other stuff, like these accolades, you know, like you you lost. Let me tell y'all this though, because we because we come from the ghetto, oh, no. man, and we don't come from everybody having having it you know what i mean and then when you reach a certain point in your success you know what i mean your life and you feel like you know what i gotta take care of these niggas man you know what i mean like did that ever at one in one point in your life you 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 you, you felt you got fed up you like you know what i can't take care of every fucking body God. yeah recently yeah Recently, because for a long time, I looked out for so many people. Like, I looked out for so many people and people that, like, you know, like, um, didn't appreciate it. And then you sit back and you look and you're like, damn. But, dude, because you, know, you, like, you kind of got to get became, yourself ready for the, yeah, you kind of yeah. got to get yourself ready for that because once you don't, once you stop giving, they coming after you. No, for sure. Like, but that's when you. Nothing, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> but you that's didn't give some to twenty times. You know what I mean? Like your you kids, didn't gave man. Them, yeah, like you didn't gave shit your whole fucking career. Like when do you, when do you stop feeling guilty, my nigga? When I realized that I'm a grown ass man and all this old game banging shit. Like we was talking yesterday off the camera, and now I'ma say it all. When they say you are not bigger than the program, that's a goddamn lie. If you think my kid, I'm gonna put anything before with joy, you lost your fucking mind. I'm way that shit way bigger than the program, little ass kid. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? You feel me? Like, what are you yeah. saying? Like, what what type of homie are you? Period. To tell me something ain't bigger than the program, like motherfucker, I'm trying to do it. This is for us. Yeah. You feel me? To me, it ain't nothing bigger than the program. Joy, way bigger than the program. Jay, way bigger than the program. You, uh, my hump band, this love is way bigger than the program. This is the program. You get what yeah. I'm saying? This is yeah. the program. So when you start doing all that old, you know what I mean? You just become, you just grow up and you just see like, what? Like, such and such snitch, such and such gone, <laughs> such and such, he act tough, but he actually a buster. Oh shit, he was a buster after all these five, eight years, I thought he was one. Yeah. Oh shit, he's actually a buster? You just be shocked, like, oh my God, the program is not even a fucking, it ain't even in, in tune. Yeah, like, who made it? What is this program we talking about? You yeah. think I'm gonna put the program over my kids? You got me fucked up. You think I'm gonna put the program over over Floyd or you or Keem or Vince or Mac, Heather? Like, I know our kids. I know our, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. <laughs> yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, fuck are you talking about? Like, what are we talking about? Like, just little kids like you know what i mean at one point you just get you just get you just hit a point where you just like i mean i feel like i'm cool i mean like i'm going home with my kids and we got soccer practice and i have to be there for her yeah and that's that and when i got you i got you if i don't my bad homie if you can't if you don't can't respect that you's a buster you a buster anyway and you you know what i mean you a buster anyway yeah and you know you're a buster and that's why, you know what I mean? Like, straight up. Like, what you finna say, Vince? I think uh, it just, it's hard to realize that you've been lied to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's funny, my mama, you know, my mama had me, she was damn near 40. So, by that time I came around, her and my pops was like already done. My pops was in and out, but he was like pretty much done. Old niggas, you know how old niggas is, bro. So, when they tell me certain shit, it's just like, y'all old. And I kind of feel like a lot of it comes and starts from rebellious, right? Rebellion, excuse me. So, the way I look at it is if somebody just walked up to you one day and said, hey, you know you're not supposed to be washing your hands. <laughs> like, <laughs> how crazy that shit is sound because it's like, nigga, everybody wash their hands. I you know, like, <laughs> yeah. we're supposed to stop doing that. And when I was a kid, my mom used to always say, like, you know, 
She used to be like, you know, if you want to see what's going to happen, you know, looking at, I, I didn't really talk about it really, but I, he just, he died like two years ago. Like my brother been paralyzed when we was kids. My mom used to be like, y'all, you want to see what's going to happen? You know, go look at your brother in that hospital bed. But that's, that's not the appropriate way to say certain things, but she don't know no better. So if we come from an era where our parents don't know no better, our grandparents were just getting here. If they was coming to California at that point in time, they probably had lack of education, lack of lack of opportunities. You know what I mean? They, and they coming out here because it's the cheapest, newest. It's like when niggas move to Victorville. It's no difference. You know what I'm saying? So I think with us, it's like my mom used to tell me if you got some shit that a kid started when he was 15, 16 years old because she was there. She was like, you can't tell me left or right because I was there. You know what I mean? My mama was born in 1957. Like, we was 15, 16, 17 at the skating rink, and we made mistakes. But that, you look at it like it's bullshit. But if you're doing something when you're 20-something, 30-something that a 15-year-old kid is doing for fun and you ain't improving on it, it's the problem, which is what Kim is saying. It's a sickness. Like... I had to have my, I, I tell Travis all the time, I mean, Travis be having these conversations, he always be calling me, checking on me shit. It's like, and he always say, you know, make sure you take care of you and take care of your family. And I hear that a lot from dudes that's older than me. I got a homie that at 15 and he got out. And when he got out, he was like, nigga, what you doing here? Like my older homie, like say all the time, like directly older, I'm like, hey bro, you know, it's time to go home. Like nigga, it ain't, we watching the Super Bowl, but like just not here. And it took me years to get out of that. And especially being from a small neighborhood, like in a but get one. Bit Imagine having the pressure, the pressure on your back, nigga, the pressure on your back to take care of your whole family. But what bro. I'm saying that is, that is that but, just sounds crazy. But it's but it's nigga. even it's, it's deeper than that, bro. Because it's yeah. not really just about pressure. It's like you told that you take care of your family, you take care of your family. Now the question is, what is family? What does that mean? Yeah. So when your idea of family is corrupted, you think of it as this is my homies, this is this is we all family. When you grow up, you got play cousins, play aunties, play uncles. This your brother, the nigga that live around the corner. Your mamas work together, so now this your cousin. Like, we got a mis mix, we got a, a misconception of what family is. So, in my, I'm, I'm 18, 19, 20, 21. I ain't got no bread. I ain't doing shit. He took me on tour. That's the first time I actually made bread off tour. But right before that, it was cracking. Like I'm talking about two weeks before. Like you feel me? Like it's hard to disconnect. Cause if I ain't got no bread. Like one of one of his homies died at my house, like in my in the lounge room at my house, and when niggas imagine being at a candlelight and niggas is telling you, oh what's up blood I just seen you on TV, like so it's hard to disconnect it because you feel love but the truth is we don't know commerce, we don't know ownership, we don't know finances, we don't know about nothing so you have to learn and then you learn what's wrong, but you got to have experiences to learn so a lot of the times. Niggas homies don't be understanding because they've never learned those things. You can't teach a nigga another language, bro, especially when we grown. So you just kind of focus on you. And I was blessed enough to have older homies like front of set and not front of set to be like, yeah, this ain't it. And it still took me till COVID to really be like, yeah. You know what? I'm a guilty motherfucker. I'm guilty of that still right to this day. I be feeling like I always got to bring everybody with me. I'm guilty of that to this day, homie. I mean, because do you fear doing this shit dolo? Do you, do you, do you fear? Is it, is it insecurity? Is it your self-esteem? You feel like, is it imposter syndrome? It's not about oh, doing I, it. I, I, got, I got to get it <coughs> it's not about. It's not about me doing it dolo, because I can do it dolo. I don't need no nigga. It's just about, I know, I think I, I know I resonate hot, and I feel how these niggas feel, man. I feel like everybody's leaving everybody behind. And niggas is just be acting like bitches. And I be feeling like, you know what? I'm the one nigga that can help, man. You feel me? Like, some, that's how I be feeling a lot of times. I swear to God. And anything I do, I'm like, okay, I got some motion in this. I'm going to bring such and such and such and such. Well, I'm going ask you a question. You know what I mean? What do you think your value is, though, to your people? Like, like what do you bring to your people? Because sometimes we don't realize that I got, a, I got an older homie. He, and he barely older than me, but he went to jail when we was like 13. One of them crazy niggas, hairline gone. That's my dog. And we, every, you know, it was you know how the <laughs> homies homies be getting into it. And it was every day. It was a it was a, it was it was it was, it was, it was, it was a lot of shit going on. And I was like, man, fucking, you gonna go to Dave and Buzz? You niggas being burnt down. He was like, and everybody had a good day. He was like, yeah, I appreciate that, bro. But you know, the truth of the matter is, you know, we gonna do this. Everybody gonna have fun. And then tomorrow you gonna go home. We all gonna go home. And then tomorrow when we go to Whoopi Whoop House, the niggas going to be beefing again because it's not your place. She's like, you ain't never been a nigga that had no money. You ain't never been a nigga to take care of niggas. You are just been a 
you was always a little weird nigga in the corner that's gonna crack a joke or say something that don't make no sense like your presence you can't be here all the time but you're so right you my value in this shit what you saying like sometimes when i do that and i'm just learning right now like i don't feel valued I'm going out my way for this shit, nigga. Yeah, and they don't appreciate you. Like I'm, I'm, I'm who's, a risk. Who's, who's that? I'm gonna risk my life a for this shit. Yeah. The grand day, like the bigger day, like the universe. Yeah, it's, it, and this is like you know, this is past days too. You know, right now I'm learning, cause right now I think I got everybody around me that that I, that I should be around, homie. But you know, back then I'm like I'm bringing up too many motherfuckers with me, and niggas ain't appreciating this shit. And then they gonna turn they back on you fast, like, bro. You know what I did just to get you in this room? I mean, but all, 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 like, and it's crazy, nigga. Be like, nigga, fuck you, nigga. I'm like, damn. All you can no try to do, bro, is honestly just give niggas opportunity experiences because we ain't dumb. Well, you know, niggas is able-bodied. You know what I mean? So what we don't get is the opportunity to have an experience to see something different. And when I was doing my show, that's why I was real specific about the locations because it's like, all right, if you can walk outside and see us filming a TV show and you knew I used to sit at that bus stop, that might even mean more to them than you sitting here being like, come with me. Because that's us necessarily being selfish. Like when my, my closest homies say all the time, like, yeah, nigga, like, I, I just I just needed you to start telling the nigga no one day so I can get my shit together. He was like, I just had to stop asking you for shit because I knew you was never gonna say no. And that's a hard Damn. thing for me to realize. And it's not even like niggas is asking for nothing crazy. It's like, he just said, I had to start saying no. He tell all the homies all the time, like, bro, stop asking, bro, for shit, because he going to do it, and then we going to be fucked up. Hey, has niggas, have anybody bro. right here experienced that with their mama? <laughs> my you mama, no. My mama, mama no. <laughs> Never had to tell my mama no. Nigga, my mama will go to the house and ask me for some shit. I have to <laughs> like, what the, give me an example. Hey, man, I can't do it for you. You keep asking me. You burnt out. Like, I never told up, my mama no, ever. As an adult? As an adult. Oh, no, no. No, I ain't gonna lie to you. And I, and I got, like, never. I done said it right before. I got a cold. Like, me and my parents, recipes to my pops and all that. I got grudges. I hold. But I ain't gonna hold you. I got grudges. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> This thing on the grudge is the, the daddy the, gone. Real, nah, I ain't gonna lie to you, but yet and still though, with moms, I feel like if anything, she my responsibility. So I, I'll get into a depression before I tell her no. I'll get into depression what I can't give her before I say I, what I, you know what I'm saying? If I got it, you got it, whatever I got. It. No, that's a fucked up position when you can't give it. No, that's a real fucked up position. For sure. That's a fucked up position when you know you see a motherfucker and you're like, damn, I can't give it to you. Yeah, that's yeah, fucked up. Yeah, sure. But Terrell's in the position where he's like, fuck, I I can't give it to you because what are you going to do with it? Like, what like what am I doing it for? Because he's given so much. And so now he's like to a point where he's like, okay, so like he kind of has to, what's it called? Got to coach you. I gotta see. I gotta evaluate what's going on. That's kind of hard. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You gotta be careful. You gotta, you gotta be careful with that, Mom, though. What you finna do? You gotta be careful. That's your. It's your parent, though, right? So, all this like you only you are only a result of your parents. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Your kids help you. If you got blessed enough to get kids, they bring new experiences to you and everything, though. But so, don't get beside yourself so much to where you feel like you actually coaching your mama. No, no, no. Hell no. No. That's, um, that's what I'm saying. Hell like, saying, no. Coach, like don't. You can, you can, but you uh, can though in a sense because nah, nah, you got more certain things than her and then like certain little, you yeah, know, what yeah, saying yeah. certain situations for sure. You can, you can culture through different things like hey, you supposed to do X, Y, and Z. And they get older and they don't be they, they looking at the phone like this. That shit tight. I ain't gonna lie. I stick at my, I stick at my <laughs> mama. I, I look at that shit. It's so tight. I'm like, damn, you got this many years on Earth. When I'm right here, you know, I didn't stress for this many years, whatever the case may be. And you didn't you didn't made it to this many years. That shit is a that's the beauty of that's wisdom. Special right there, shit. That's not yeah. you know to like. I, I learned to admire that. I learned to like sit back, like damn, how the fuck are you still cool? How the fuck are you still figuring out calling me every day just to check on me? Like how you got that heart still? You know what I'm saying? That shit is some special shit. Like, mm -hmm. and I, I find ways to like to uh, empower that, and then just like learn them. Cause just take time, you know what I'm saying? Like we gonna learn what we learn at our stage. But you can learn way more than your parents. You no, can no, no, no. But, you, but, that, but that's no what I'm saying. How. If they got you to the point to even learn more, to even comprehend more, that didn't come. That just come by I itself. Think, I think what Kim's saying too is you gotta just allow your parents to be happy. Exactly. Like one thing with my my my, my family bros, like they don't want nothing. 
And that make a nigga feel crazy sometimes. But then I learned, oh, that's just being content. That's being grateful. And they got it better than any of us do. You feel me? Like, Not but, want nothing is so crazy. And I like that you say that. And, and we be like, nah, you content. And it's just like, I heard somebody say, just because I'm rich as fuck don't mean like I'm, I got a happy life. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers that don't have as much money as me, super happy. They doing what they want to do. They going where they want to go when they want to do it. They eat what they want to eat. Like, they don't have to do, like, these crazy extravagant things and feel like they just on top of the fucking world. Bro, my mom had four kids, the bills, the restitution, all this shit. I got her a house in Atlanta because my sister had lived out there. And when I was trying to figure out if I could do it, I, I was just asking her questions. Like, so I had, I had Corey playing the middleman. Like, oh, we need some shit for Vince to tax and shit. And it was like, how much, what, like, what was it, uh, I forgot what he said, but like he was basically asking, how much would you make in a year? And my mama said, oh, if I have a good year, I make like, you know, probably 20, 21, but usually like 16, 17. I'm like, you have four kids in Long Beach by yourself. My sister got a baby. My mama had my sister when she was 15, and then my sister had her baby when she was like 19, so you got five kids, basically, and you was living. We, when I tell you, we ain't, we niggas had the PlayStation, had the Xbox, had the fucking a Nietzsche, had the Dada, had the, all the shit that you can have off 15, 17 grand. Anything that we can get now is just gonna be. And that's what's crazy about the art because I feel like the art. A shout out to just the culture and everything. It's, it's weird, like in your day to day life, you're school, going to school, your cousins or whatever, you get laughed at for having less and all the shit, right? But these are the same motherfuckers that kind of like made. This culture, what it is. We going off the stories of a nigga who didn't have nothing, mm -hmm. who came from nothing, whatever. We watched it, you know what I'm saying? So even right now, I feel like it'd be like an oxymoron a little bit. Like, we tripping on a motherfucker who don't have shit, but if you think it's about 40 years ago, most of us came from poverty. Bro, fuck all so that, bro. If, when if I, when poverty I was, can when create. I was in high school, bro, if you came to school doing it, I, it was a nigga named, I ain't trying to show him, it was a nigga named J Star from Flip. <laughs> And he used to be, he had the fake Gucci belt with the shirt tech in. Niggas, cuz you look like Akon. And niggas is like, what is you doing? You look crazy, nigga. This at the point in time, niggas trying to go to, yeah. niggas trying to, go to the Hollister. They ain't got no sensors. The lights is off. Niggas trying to put the best Hollister sweatsuit together you possibly can. And nigga, you got a Gucci belt, bitch? Like, what is that? What that got to do with this? Yeah. So, Have y'all ever bought something fake, though? Cuz keep it real. Oh, for sure. My first oh, time in yeah. New York. My sister baby daddy got me <laughs> with the fake babes in the sister back of the barbershop. Yeah, he got me with the fake babes. My nigga DeMarco. I'm going to say your name on here. DeMarco got my mama. My DeMarco nigga got DeMarco. My mama for the fake babes. Oh, we gave my nigga the fake babes. Some them fake ass forces of the job. Hey, hey. Remember we got the motherfuckers go. We came home and comped it. And nigga, the motherfuckers was platforms. I ain't going to lie to you. Look, the I song was never this warm, thing. homie. I was like, <laughs> you ain't open the box? They came we did, the box. but the motherfuckers was like twenty dollars. <laughs> motherfuckers was like this is <laughs> like thirty dollars or something. We're like, these are gold. It don't matter. <laughs> then when we got to the house, motherfuckers was looking at the motherfuckers like, the hang nigga, on. That shit was crazy. <laughs> Nigga, the, the soul was this thick, oh nigga. We was walking God. on platforms. And the homie still wore the motherfuckers. But they it's put their jeans on. I didn't bang mine. I left them in the closet. I'm like, I ain't banging these. Yeah, that's I crazy. Think a, I think it's an error. I think a name brand was different when we was like, when I was a kid, it's like, it was crazy. Hollister was a name brand. We ain't known it. We ain't no, got no sure. fake. Yeah. We ain't got Fairfax. None of that shit. Niggas was at the Lakewood Mall. Put shit together, you might take a nigga shit from him while he's shopping with his mama. Like, we was on stupid shit on some two Nigga, Old Navy oh, was a game, game brand. That was the game bang suit. Oh, oh, Navy. Because right Eddie now, Bauer, looking at y'all, oh, oh, y'all have not God. one watch, not one chain. Like, you look nice to me. Like, no name brand on, I can't tell. So, is it important? The little, to homie, you? the little homies is 16, 17, going to Paramount High School with the Balenciaga shoes, and that shit is crazy to me. I was just telling yeah, them about my insane. daughter. These niggas all, nigga, they Dior. <laughs> yes, Dior T shirt, jeans, everything. It's crazy. I'm like, hey, you let your kid walk out the house with a gang of Dior. <laughs> nice this boy walked out my house with all Dior. We got to get out, <laughs> Nigga, heads and toes, no nigga, way Dior. I'm let you walk out my house with the whole Dior on. 14, first day of school, Dior. <laughs> yeah. Head to toe. I guess Hell it feels no. nice to be able to be able to nigga. purchase it, but it doesn't make you you.
I mean, I feel like right now we just do. We, we, it's, it's a lack of identity and creativity. Like you had to push shit together. You know what I mean? Like it's funny, like being kids and going to a swap meet and getting a stitch and then a hat and all the extra shit. Now niggas is selling them shits for a hundred dollars. Well, you can oh, go God. down the street. I feel like people just <laughs> we don't feel like we important enough to be like this. Is what I want to do? Like I'm gonna put my name on some shit. Now I want your name on some shit. It's just I don't get this shit. It's way out. And these niggas are spending all their money and half that shit fake. Like niggas getting smacked for this shit too. Like nigga, you don't get you. You want the backpack that's gonna get you smacked? <laughs> okay, so look, you niggas got that's this. Buy expensive no, that's expensive back. The yeah. backpack era was kind of crazy. No, the, that's crazy. I was one of them idiots too with the three thousand dollar backpack. <laughs> that's burnt. No, they still got like, the backpack area you going. Had it, what was that about? It's, it's, what was that about? It's called spray ground now. They still got it. They still got it. They still got it. Spray ground. Spray ground. Spray that's like yeah. some athlete spray shit. Spray ground. Oh God, they doing it. That's a backpack. That's mm -hmm. a backpack, nigga. It's like and it got duffels and all that. They doing it up. A three hundred dollar backpack. You gotta keep the tag backpack. on it, cause my my daughter's like, I got need one, but keep. You gotta keep the gold oh, yeah. tag on it so they know it's real. So they know it's spray I'm ground. Like, what? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, what? Spray ground. Like shout out spray ground. Yeah, shout out spray ground. Yeah, shout out spray ground Cause it's they a sent fake me. Bait. Look, it's fake bait. They sent me all backpacks. What? A lot yeah, of backpacks. Man. Tylee has like five new backpacks. So She's good for the rest of the time she's in high school. She don't want the eighty dollar one. This is the three hundred one, motherfucker. Yeah. Fuck you mean? Yeah. You looking at the seventy nine? They got both. Yeah, they got different prices. Uh, they, they probably going for five bands if they go up for nah, three. Nah, she no. Hold on, scroll up. Scroll back. Scroll back. Scroll back. It's fake bait. It's Why they got the eclectic bitch with the backpack? Like, yeah. We trying to get some shit. high That's fashion shit. They got yeah. high fashion yeah. shit going on on that motherfucker. Biggest company grill. No, hey, look, ass. Yes. Look. Why the eclectic bitch like holding the backpack like, like she eclectic? <laughs> no, hold on, yeah. I mean, Why is she, with the she, can't, out? she can't travel with one of those? <laughs> she can travel with that. You can travel with that. No, the kids want that though, but you can travel it's, with that. Yeah. Is that Lil Wayne as a My daughter got a Batman backpack. Your daughter has a Batman? I shout out to Joy, man. That's cold. I love her Batman backpack. Hey, let me ask y'all this because she was saying something about that, like the jury and shit like that. Like, like you niggas, you niggas not the type of niggas that don't, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't have to come out big chain on with the whole shit. Like, do y'all feel like uh, rappers have like some type of insecurity about themselves when they do that? Or is just like that's the type of style that they have that they have to portray as a rapper? Before I think I answer. I do. I do for like most artists are insecure first. No, for sure. I'm. I'm for sure insecure. That's how you're able to be introspective. But I think. Um, I think it's the nature of the business because you see it work when somebody got the outfit together. They look cold. The same thing. You know, you a kid. You play football. It's like, oh, nigga, I want the visor. I want the back plate. You got to look the part. The people to take you serious for the most part. And I think that's just part of the shit. That's what it is in our genre for some reason. Looking the part. But you know what I'm saying. But you niggas don't do that though. But Q's I mean, doing a home video right now has not one chain. But yeah, in the Google Watch, huh? I mean, but keep going. That's a woo. That's the woo. That's the finish track. Woo man, woo man. Sorry, I'm in shape. That's the finish track. I want to get the track. Track. Once again, once again, once again, once again, once again, once again, I was 250 pounds. We're gonna keep that in order too. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah let the record reflect. Mama. We're gonna, yeah, big mama. <laughs> <laughs> he beat he, he beat all hey, the hey, hey, but no, like I, I just feel like uh chains and shit. To be honest, that's really not LA shit though. Like, yeah. It's more is that really something that we really let's just be honest about it. Yeah, I never yeah, seen Snoop with this I big silly really ass chain on. Slick Rick and it was doing that. No, them I never seen Snoop with that. I seen the little ass death row chain. Mm -hmm. That shit was smaller than this corkscrew, you know what I mean? The, the smallest chain you can possibly, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't remember that seeing that. That was like never, like, our thing. Yeah. Like, you said what? Is that because niggas get that shit snatched? Cause like, Three, two, All right, I'll, I'll be ready. All right, because, like, I did hear, even from, like, not even, like, city, they say, like, neighborhoods. First, you get outside the city, the neighborhood first from each other. Ten minutes to get to you. Ten minutes is different than 45 seconds. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So it's the natural walk and do every day. And there's more likely for you to get your shit snatched. Cause, yeah. So basically, you're saying politics. That's true, too. But, yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, but, but culturally, it's just not a thing. It yeah, I think we so thing. cool. Yeah. Like, we smoke yeah. weed and, like, we talk slow. Cool. We talk proper. We, like... Super non. I feel like LA is as dangerous as it is. We we actually really super non confrontational people though. Like things just, just happen. Things just line up the way they line up. 
You get what I'm saying? Like most yeah. LA people, most LA dudes are like just chill, cool motherfuckers. Like we wear khakis and chucks, like t-shirts, regular t-shirts. Like it's always sunny. Okay. Like you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like we Compton, smoke more bro. weed than anybody. Like <laughs> yes. we don't that, uh, the the like attention thing. That's like the the like I don't know. It's just like a thing that I, I was never into because I was already him since I was in elementary. I feel like I was always me right now. Since 52nd Elementary, I've always been me. I'm always the nigga that say, why the West Coast can't go past New Mexico? And they be doing X, Y, Z, and they can't do this, and they don't wear this, and they not getting with the style, this and that and the other. But I got two niggas sitting on this couch that can beg to differ with me and say, nigga, that's what the fuck we are doing, that's what I am doing, and that's what worked for me. Like I haven't yet, I've yet to sit with a motherfucker that can like kind of argue with me about the style or why we ain't passing a certain, you know what I mean, state. You feel me? As far as we're not passing a certain state, but I'm saying the younger a lot niggas. Of, a lot of LA artists that be they. That's, I'm gonna say, man, me and Vince been in Australia. We done been in New Zealand. We done been all over the world. Don't run that narrative on LA. Yeah, don't run that narrative on LA. Why LA going crazy? Tyler and Kendrick are the two, and Frank, are they still Steve the biggest, biggest artists, artists like in the Steve game Lazy, from the like, city come on, man, like, LA is still the most, Doja Cat, like, yeah, let's talk okay. about it, we still the best, we I don't care artists. what nobody's talking about, yeah, like, but I don't talking, care I what moments people niggas. have, I don't care what moments people have, we have fucking us, bro, like, and we don't hate each other, too, yeah, yeah. that's a lie. That's, that's wait, a, wait, 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 no, it's a lie, the niggas hate each other and don't, like, in LA? each other, yeah, name. Yeah, niggas support each other just like everywhere else. You say what you're saying. I'm saying what you're saying. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I'm, okay. You're saying. I'm, oh, I'm, about, to, I'm about to say, I'm not in agreement with what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, definitely like, a lot like, of love we in the city. love each other. Like, sure. LA is like, bro, we're literally, I'm sorry. Like, I'm, we, we better, bro. Like, I'm sorry. And also, and also, <laughs> sorry. So, you can, like, you, no disrespect you, to you him. Expect, and you I can. love everybody, but we're better, bro. Like, we're better, bro. But you can't expect to have a big. Footprint making regional music, and yeah, I think, I like, think uh, hold on, let, let me tell y'all this though, because when y'all don't, Harry, y'all don't indulge in the LA super crazy culture and doing all of dumbass gang shit, you know, and the dumbass beats the same shit. They won't even them not dumb beats. niggas from. They won't even acknowledge, acknowledge niggas for, the, yeah, for being beats. from LA. They won't even say niggas from LA. Yeah, me and like, Vince. I, we, I feel like low key, low key. Me and Vince, low key, always get the short end of the stick. Yeah, they, of the, yeah. uh, like, like low key, me and you, low key, <laughs> we we never get to LA love. Bro. That's like, what? What? No, and I feel me like and Vince what? never get to LA love, man. Yeah, and we and the coldest. Yeah, and I just feel like man, that is fucked up. They don't never give us that love, bro. What you mean you don't get LA love, bro? Because we don't got the. Uh, you need the low rider with the backwards oh, band. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we don't never get no. the LA like love, uh -huh. man. And I be feeling like that's that how what Tyler there. is going through too. The fuck you Tyler, Tyler the fuck, creator. Nigga. You got, yeah, they still be trying to act like he ain't one of the biggest the artists in the world. Him and, him and, and they be talking about together. all these other motherfuckers in LA and they, and I, they be trying not to I, say cut. Are you kidding tour. me? I just got yeah. off the arena tour and every show was sold out with bro. That's COVID what I'm saying. Like, what are we talking about when you That's talk about AIDS? Stop talking about all these other cats. Like, Jay King. Like, put the homies in there. Like, yeah. I'm not saying you put me in there. I'm saying put my homies in there that deserve to be in there. Like, Vince or Tyler or. You know, me too, shit. Y'all nah, be leaving me out of everything. Too. Matter of fact, I'm lying. Why you here, though, right? So why does that about? From far, as far as like South Central. South Central? Yeah, it's just like. Ice Cube. Like, then who? Me. I mean, what you mean, like in an order? Or just like, just, just us just that came out? That came out. Oh, oh okay. I'm like, not in order, though. Not in order, not. Nah. Okay, so well, who's off from South Central? Me, Nipsey, Ice Cube. Dub C, Mac 10, Inglewood counts as South Central to me. Most definitely. Um, corrupt, right? Corrupt. We go, I don't consider him to Tupac from West, like okay. West Coast. Oh, y'all in this Tupac? This Tupac, Tupac, Tupac is from Tupac 6 New Jersey? Y'all right, stop it. Corrupt is from 6-0. So that's 6? All right, that's Corrupt. And Hawthorne. <laughs> you, you don't yeah. act like you don't know a random. Hey, uh, stop. <laughs> 
You know, be you know, be there niggas, you, you know, be niggas from Hawthorne that be having life, right? yeah, from some yeah. other shit. Unless y'all know somebody else. Talk to this nigga yeah. right oh, now. Hawthorne and Gardena, go Dom ahead. Dom Kennedy, Dom, Dom Kennedy, Dom Kennedy. Uh, here we go, RJ too. Then so they doing right, he, like Compton. Yeah, that yeah. shit low key. I no, feel that's like you common, call, that's common, that's he at this nigga. That's LA. But that's really no, South Central. It's that's really South, South Central. Yeah, but they way closer to Compton. But he's South Central. RJ. Zip code. That's some LA shit. Yeah, that's that's RJ. That's Shout really like what else is from South Central? Uh, Cypress Hill. Uh, South Side, Cypress Hill. Oh, Cypress Hill. They be from, real. They from Swans. No, oh, yeah, be real. The code is too. <laughs> Shout out to Mo. Shout out to be real. Yeah. <laughs> oh my doom, God. Doom. Oh, yeah. Oh my God! That hey, was they so know, nasty but too. I know all bullshit that was aside, so nasty too. they de they definitely that like leaving niggas out of the LA conversation. They always leave us out. They Nigga, yeah. every I be, I be time. Seeing, I be seeing conversations with groups. Our shit be going up though, and they every be putting. Time. I don't get it. Our shit go up though. I be every seeing group, I be seeing niggas talk about groups, and they never bring up Cypress Hill, and they got like five like worldwide Very hits, true. like smashes. You ain't never seen nobody say Cypress Hill name, and they got good albums outside of them having them big ass hits. No, I like, just, like, I like, and, and like they showed us that you can tour. Oh, yeah. Shout out Jeff Fuel OG, too. Like, like, they're still doing it, though. Like, yeah, and they, you can be tour. Be real, oh, my God. Like, Dr. Green Thumb. Like, yeah, and oh, I'll get that boom, ice cube right boom, now. Boom, boom. Ah, yeah, and he got that ice cube. And he got that ice cube. Like, you ain't about oh, to bully oh, me. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, you ain't about to bully me. It's it ain't ain't in right. WA. Yeah. And I love, I, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm in WA over anything. Uh -huh, but but what I'm saying is, like, I, I respect that. Uh, that they did that. They're like, you ain't about to bully me. Yeah. Be real. <laughs> be real is actually that. He's so, different. Shout out Be Real. Like, he man. came with the whole character thing. Like, like, the whole the everything. Voices. Like, the. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, not he was scared to, like. He, like, no fear as an artist. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, his whole thing was weed. Yeah, he wanted to Blood punish. didn't make it all about being a blood. You That's my I'm favorite thing. Like, he, ain't, he ain't say that shit. So once. to be he honest, he was, I never knew that though, Vince. I didn't even know. No, he, 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 was, oh, yeah. he from Swans. Like in really, like, first really like I didn't know none of yeah, that. Really from Swans. Yeah, like That's really crazy, from Swans. Right? Like, That's crazy, right? He from yeah. Compton. Be real, it's from Swans. I didn't even look. I didn't know there was even like South Central niggas. Yeah. I looked at them niggas like, like in the weed areas up north and shit. Nah, yeah, nah. They they from the the land. They from the the and they and they 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 really been through shit. That's crazy. I thought they was like Humboldt County and shit. When it comes to Long Beach artists. Yeah. What you asking me? I'm saying like, when, like, Ooh. do you implement yourself in that? As the best? No, no, no. I ain't saying the best. I'm saying do you implement your, like, you feel like your name's supposed to be mentioned? Oh. <laughs> uh, so, well, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. To be, to be honest, it's just way less niggas from Long Beach. <laughs> it's so like, like that's inevitable, like, bro. Uh, you cannot mention Long Beach and not mention. You can't mention ten niggas from. You cannot mention Long Beach. Ten is a lot of niggas. Not say this. this ain't LA. It's way different. Warren G. And Long Beach is a smaller area. You can't mention Nate Dog. He did. Nate Dog. I did. I said Nate. say Daz. Who? No, so look, Warren. Nah, Warren Daz. No, Snoop Dogg. Fucking uh, uh, Goldie, Trady. Oh yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said Nate Dog, right? I said Goldie, Warren, yeah. say, Goldie, say, Goldie, say, Goldie, 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 Goldie. I got artists. I got a catalog out there. Super but I'm saying it ain't like ten. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but but I think Superfly from Pomona. Story, he def got to be mentioned Superfly in that mix. From Pomona? One of them is from Pomona. You know, Savvy two flies. Thought, yep, Savvy. Oh, Savvy. 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 Um, yeah, so it's a lot. DW, fucking Joey, fucking yeah, DW, DW. I count Matt because I don't care what he say. I count Ashton as a, as, a, as a Long Beach nigga. I don't care how long you stayed in Carson. <laughs> That's my dog, so he gonna start. He was here. <laughs> he was here. Nah, <laughs> he was here. <laughs> I heard. Wait, I don't care. He moved in Lakewood. Nigga? Nigga? He, moved, he moved to high school and went to Lakewood in like 11th grade. So you from Long Beach now? And like is from LA then. Nah, Crub like is from Snoop Hawthorne and like 60. Show, and like YB in the mirror. Huh? Don't do that. Why be in the mirror? Any from he be with uh, he be with uh, yeah. Why be in the mirror? He be, he be in the mirror. He be out the little homies. Now. I think he got his trade. I guess. What's bro? Joey Faston turned why be in the mirror out. Got him pushing Long Beach. <laughs> nah, that was the little homies, man. That's his friend. Six. I, oh my God! Look, six. He got oh, put six. on. Six got put on. God damn. We got uh, we got we got uh, we got Sublime. We got Cameron Diaz. 
Cameron yeah, Diaz. Diaz. Diaz or Carmen Electra, one of them bitches. Carmen Electra, either one of them. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> we got one of them. That nigga with That's Cameron crazy. Diaz. We got, uh, we got, what's the, what's the tennis bitch? We got Billie Jean King. All right, so cool. That's we got Heat. For sure, that's Long Beach now, boom. I think I'm better. <laughs> you better? What you mean? Yeah. To okay. be honest. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not Ice Cube. It's kind of crazy. Not Ice Cube. Too. Not Ice Cube. I, I don't compare to Cube, Cube, but everybody else, yeah, I'm better. But watch this, though. So, like, when, no disrespect to anybody, up, but I'm better. When that's culture, they bring up L.A. and all that. They low-key be kind of like, they damn near always talk about, like, South Central when they say L.A. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. So then it's, like, crazy. When you really think about L.A., I'm just going to crack off. It's not just crazy. County? Not here. I mean, when you do county. Southern California, it get even crazier. What are you saying? Are people that only cracked off of South Central? Yeah. It's a lot of niggas that cracked Ooh. off, though, from I South know. Central. I know. I, I'm, I'm respecting your uh, answers right now. Like, literally, South if you talk about niggas, Cypress right Hill. Is it Blue no, Bloods Clan? Who cracked off? So, uh, him, Ice Cube, Cypress Hill. If you count, you got to count uh, Nip. You, um, Dub C. Um... What's the uh, I'm fucking up on bro Mac, Mac 10, 10. You throw him in there. Uh Ice T. Um Ice you are tea. funny. Ice I thought the Ice T was from the East Coast. Nah, he he, been, he, 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 live, he just live out there. He got a job and he said, I'm out of here. Nigga said, I'm damn near he 60. said, I'm out of here. I got the chili. <laughs> he said, no, I got the it. job. Uh, I'm gone. Tone low. Tone low. Um, Man, get that shit up out of here. I'm just saying he cracked off. He ain't say it was hard. He said it was cracked off. He had two hits. Okay, for sure. You got some niggas. Yeah, it's a lot of niggas from out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. See how he was trying to hate on niggas? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It's Blue Bloods clan from uh, South Central? They are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Relatively, they do. Uh, Hell yeah, yeah. Nigga, get the yeah, South Central got a lot of shit going on, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue Bloods clan for sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I, I just feel like the, uh, yeah, yeah, like the young, I just like, they, they, um. In the city, they crack. Yeah, they cracking in the about, city for sure. Okay, so they cracking. But y'all don't know how cracking they is in the city because y'all don't go to the club. I what mean, they nobody go to the club. Y'all the artists that about? don't go to the club. Like y'all don't go to the club. They don't represent if you Who goes to the club? Call somebody that go to the club, that's at the club he tonight. It's here. Saturday. If it's call somebody that's going to the club tonight. What? Find me somebody that's going to the club tonight. Yeah, oh, tonight? Club it's Saturday. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Hey, who's going to the club? Yeah, Nobody goes the to the club, that bro. Damn. That shit is over with. <laughs> these niggas in here. It's L.A., bro. It's <laughs> date parties and shit. Like, like, you niggas going to the club? Yeah, that shit is over with. This nigga going to the club. This is Jack. This nigga Jack going to the club. Jack Depp going to the club. It's because it's one of his friends' birthdays. That's the only reason. Oh, it's one of his friends' birthday. That's the only reason he's going to the club. He ain't even there. He's going to the club. He going to stop by that motherfucker. Going to it and stopping by two different things. Hey, going to the club. He going to the club. Have y'all been in it? But y'all ain't been in the club. I've been in the club when Blue Bucks Club come on, nigga. When? What club? AD took me. I don't know yeah, which yeah, one was. AD be in the club. No, ain't nobody no. shit on Blue Bucks. I'm saying they haven't. Blue Bucks go yeah, crazy. That's all I'm saying. They haven't cracked off yet. Kim said they ain't made it out the West Coast, man. Yeah, that's. They haven't made it out the West Coast. And why they do you just, think that? They just knew, bro. They want to come it. up. Look what they talk. They talk about all the West Coast restaurants and shit. They like. <laughs> I like that. They know about <laughs> the. It's gonna be hard to form a crack up that way. I mean, we we, we, we need true. we need regional we music. Need, for sure. As a man, man, you tripping, bro. <laughs> We need the man. I love that. You talking about Bossa Nova, saying, nigga, with the color. I love that. I'm going to fuck with that. It's so Bossa Nova. Bossa Nova is a West Coast. Uh, that's a West Coast thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. That's, that's some studio but, shit, nigga. Blue Bloods go crazy. You you the one that's making it. Not that Blue Bloods go crazy. He don't only talk about it. But what's the problem? It's millions of people. What's the purpose of saying that, though? Too, though. That they ain't cracked off yet. That's what I was talking about. I started this conversation off before Blue Woods got mentioned. I'm saying that I actually cracked off. But do they need to crack off outside the city? Do they? I don't yeah, think you, you want to get into the rankings. That's not, what, what not do the rankings mean? Yeah, we talking about rankings. Do you think? Do you but, think? But OG, even do you rankings, think OG, though, what does that matter? That's some, just my uh, opinion. Uh, yeah, a motherfucker like OGZ is going crazy. I don't know if he's necessarily yeah. out of the yeah. West Coast, but he got 15 businesses, his money coming in, and people yeah. supporting music. I think it's smarter. Also, to, shout out Joey Fats. He going crazy too, though. The Custo the, uh, story. Uh, Niggas is doing their thing, man. Yeah. I'm talking about the rappers that's rapping, representing the shit. 
that either cracked off or didn't crack off. But Define cracked off of it. It's a nigga that no one's heard of that got millions of views right now. A so lot of niggas. Ooh, who? Ooh, the nigga R3 the Chili one. Man got like, got millions of views. He's popping. As far as got millions of views. Oh, Jeezy got millions of views. People is getting. It's niggas that got more views than us that ain't doing what we doing. So I think music is just in a place to where so much shit going on. Yeah. You can really pick your poison. Like I got a conversation for that, but we're going to keep it love and everything because you know, even though with all that. It's always love. Yeah, love. All right, let me ask y'all two niggas this real quick. Yeah, what do y'all feel about the L.A. rap report card shit that be floating around? Man, we ain't never in the motherfuckers. Yeah. Everybody, got a, everybody got an opinion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, that, like, yeah, who cares, though? Yeah. Like. At the end of the day, it's just one person. Like I think, I, like I said, I said only Ice Cube better than me. Yeah. I mean, this I'm pretty sure like a million motherfuckers gonna think I'm crazy saying that. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. fine. Nah, I feel like, like <laughs> you know what I mean. A report card on me when I'm like literally me is. <laughs> what if like, that nigga don't think you know y'all was I mean? good like, enough to make got, the list you know, though? Huh? What if he didn't think y'all was good enough to make that list? Even though I'm just just popping shit. A Vince on that motherfucker. He got an F. Yeah, I got an F. You got oh, an F? I got, a, I got a C now, though. Oh, shit. I got a, I got a C now, though. But see, it's LA. It's <laughs> bad. No way. Side of Top. LA. What up, bro? Top. Top. Oh, yeah. Top. Top. No, no. He trying to get off camera. Yeah, you yeah. know that nigga don't want to be on camera. Yeah. He don't want to be on camera. Look. Yeah. My nigga yeah. Top in this motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna take yeah, his I'm hat never off. on the report card. Why you ain't got me on the report card? I should get all A's. Maybe that an nigga. F in a couple no, things, because I'll be slacking. That nigga fuck around, man. Oh, oh shit. shit. You ain't dropped a minute. Okay, Go back okay, to that okay. shit. Let's see why this nigga got an F. Who, we gonna see why he is doing the report card. Who is this? this is his he said, who is this? Like don't do him like that. Oh, don't do that. Don't do him like that. Cool. Dijon, cool. you know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Dijon. He be doing it up. You know what I'm saying? He love the LA culture. You know what I'm saying? Zoom in on my nigga. Why you gotta get on the nigga Zoom on my nigga Vince. Zoom on my on my nigga Vince one time, man. Let's see why. Let's gotta, see why, if we agree with this, though, I let's... Gotta, I got an eight in lyricism. Okay. Eight in lyricism. <laughs> yeah, that nigga Vince know the numbers already. That yeah, nigga like right smack there. with them numbers. Seven. Hey, look, let's see the threes. Cause yeah, the, three, three. the three and Zoom the two is crazy. So Why they that. giving motherfuckers report cards? <laughs> hey, that guy, that nigga fits. Oh, fuck out me. me. What the fuck? How you gonna regrade give me a grade? Look at this shit. Who the fuck got a higher grade with this type of hey, shit no. in the background? Hey, this nigga okay. Vince, ah, he know what he got. I'm actually happy I ain't on that motherfucker. Hey, Wait, Vince, nah, you know that? nah, this the old, this the old one. No, you put up the old one trying to be funny. Nah, that's your old one. I got to see now. I got to see now. That's it. Yeah, yeah. He know the old one. I got to see now. See how this nigga do me? See how this nigga put up my old one? That nigga put up. Oh my God! Oh shit! That nigga, that nigga said that's the old one. That's your big nose, nigga. Oh, that's the big nigga. That's the big nigga. That's the nigga from Signal Hill. Oh, Instagram right now. See how niggas doing me? That's crazy. I love this nigga Vince because that nigga said that nigga gave me a C. That nigga got me as a C, girl. I love this. Oh my God! 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 Oh my LA 2K range oh no! Here we go, here we go. My nigga got a C. Hey, a C2K, what's that? That nigga Vince got a C plus in the other one. C2K? Yeah, I've improved. Hey, no. I got a C in 2K, man. I got a 78, yeah. Stop No, no, no. That's crazy. That's a B. That's basically a B. Nah, that's a C plus, bro. But you can round that up, though. You can round that up, though. Like, if we can round that up, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Little B minor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout but out my little DJ. DJ. You might get a B minor. Shout out DJ. Yeah. 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 Wait, but he I, gave I, Dot a 80. Wait, well, let me see. When, when you give Dot, he got Dot a B. Five in and a four. Dot go should up, be an A for six. sure. A five and a four. Yeah. Dot should, should be an A for sure. For sure. Yeah, I think, I think my three was in like originality and another like marketing yeah, was like my two or my three or some shit. Originality is crazy. So let's speak on that. That's crazy. Originality is crazy. So I gotta get up out of here now. Hey, they read that nigga marketing is crazy. They grading your marketing. Yeah, he when he's literally marketing. So you hate that you grading somebody's yeah. marketing when yeah, he's literally yeah. Vince Staples. Yeah. What yeah. was your marketing? Like, who are you? Tino Impact is coming. That's not what I call him. That was on the old one, so they got to go back to the old one to look at my, my bullshit. <laughs> oh, trust me. I know exactly who he is. <laughs> Hey, uh, he coming out there, I swear. Hey, John is going to come he on back on no big, and I love this he conversation. Yeah, doing but like look, check this out, though. <laughs> Marketing is wild, though. 
And but I'm he just told saying, Terrell like, he was an employee. <laughs> creativity wise, Ugh. no way. It's boring outside. Okay. So we have to do the breakthrough right here inside the stage. Yeah, it's real life Good. shit going on. We're still gonna shoot car stuff outside, but we can't do breakthrough. Shout no, out Niz activity. What? Yeah, shut up. Yeah. Tell him to follow Nick's activity. <laughs> pouring raining is crazy. Shout, follow Nick's activity. And I got some shit at my house that need to come in the inside because it's pouring raining. Oh my goodness. This is but crazy. But no, give him my boy a. Uh, they got that nigga a C. Hey, All right, look, man, I'm so working my way up. My nigga, what's my nigga Lois? <laughs> Next year I'm going to be at that B. Plus. Go back. Why are you scrolling, cuz? We on Vince Stable. I told you about boy. this report card. Like, Stop dude, we on Vince Stables, cuz. Where did Cud get a five in? Fuck I think versatility. Yeah, I said fuck him. Uh, flow? <laughs> yeah, flow. <laughs> flow. <laughs> Judging somebody's flow is crazy. And so who flow is and he? versatility. Wait, wait, wait. That's What's the John? <laughs> wait. I'm out of here, man. No, it's all perspective at this point. Okay. No, 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 that's crazy. No, well, that's actually crazy. You know no, he, that's actually crazy. Crazy. He, he, he called you an employee and now he's an employee at the place where you used to be an employee <laughs> at. So fuck him and fuck the report card. Get it off the screen, yeah. six. Yeah, Next six. topic. Yeah. Hey, yo, bro, you yeah. came with them they topics know. yesterday. You yeah. fucking up, six. Heather ain't with that. Hey, yo, bro. <laughs> she ain't with Gray, my nigga Vince. Get this no, shit off the screen. No, because I love Vince. Yeah, yeah, yeah Vince. An F Thank is you. out. An F is out. An F, F is, is out. out nigga, girl. Don't, don't pull up the wrong list no more, nigga. Okay. Yeah, pull up my, pull up my new shit. Purpose. Pull up the new one. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, where my nigga Ace Boy Trey at? Get him down here. My nigga F is crazy, though. Dog. Hey, you didn't ask Mark Nasty to fix that beef for you? <laughs> Mark Nasty? Why you didn't have Mark Nasty squash that beef? What? Oh, that's crazy, oh my man. God, you really about that. homie. I love this nigga Vince, you know what I mean? No, I uh, no, I know. Oh, Vince different, I'm, man. I'm telling you, like, dude, different, homie. He different, like, man, I really appreciate you coming on here, bro. Fucking with me, you know what I mean? Even you know though you thing? had to call you, though, it's all good. No, no but it's good. Though, no, you See, he lying you know, again. Yeah, I, I told this nigga, he what did, did I tell he, you on the phone? He get on here and say, yeah. he get on here and say, like, yo, I told Q, like, yo, get this nigga down to the video shoot because this is my first opportunity to get him on a podcast. And then he it pulled up like this. Shut up. He pulled up. up. Yeah, that was foul. You know that they said that your Terrells look alike, celebrity yeah, look alike. I seen that. I seen that. I wasn't mad at that. I didn't know uh -huh. that. For real? Y'all kind of oh. look alike. Oh, that is. Y'all just that. have different teeth. <laughs> no, that, hey, you ain't going. I ain't know that. Know that. Nah, fuck with my nigga. I ain't nigga. mad at that. Yeah, like let my nigga shine, like. Oh, uh, oh, uh, you, oh, you doing you him a favor? Yeah, 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 you I'm on this nigga though, because I told this nigga like four days ago, I was finna come up this motherfucker. I'm finna find this shit right now. Nah, you ain't finna find that. It's over with. It's, uh, it's all good. Yeah. Wednesday. Nigga, I gotta get, fun, a, I gotta get a Saturday. crew, man. This is the crew. I don't even know what y'all name this type of vibe, the crew, but it's only a few of you niggas in the circle, and you can't get in the circle. Y'all gotta accept it. It's almost like, it's like a, it's like a jury. It's like, hey, home, hey. Cuz said he want to come in, and y'all all got to vote, even though y'all talk to each other like a lot. That's what it seemed like. He's like, yeah, hey, no, okay, yeah, he can get in here. He good. He straight. You know what I mean? Like, he, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a circle, like, and I love that shit. It's almost like Maxo Cream and y'all, sir, I feel like Maxo Cream and y'all, like, yeah, little Max thing. I fuck with Maxo. Yeah, Maxo is I in there. You feel me? Like. In y'all circle, like everybody can't get in that. And I be telling them, like, hey, Maxo in a whole nother little thing. Y'all don't even know what's going on. Shout out Maxo. Shout out Toby. If you don't know who you are, don't come around. Like, mm -hmm. don't yeah. come around me. For real. I don't got time because I'm still trying to figure myself out. So, and I'm very comfortable with who I am now. You know, I, I put myself in uncomfortable situations. I try at least, but. Um, I'm comfortable with being who I am and not being caring about who judging me for like how I'm getting down and how I'm moving. You get what I'm saying? Like, um, and when people get around me, sometimes they either try to be something like going into the studio with artists and they're trying to be like super tough. Like, 
It's like, yeah. oh, so you thought I was about to show up to the studio with like 30 dudes and be like mad or something. Like, Give us a story, Mac. I'm never giving uh, you Yeah, we ain't going to do that story. I'm never story, giving Mac. We, we got some stories. <laughs> hey, hey, Mac. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shout out. Me and Mac was, Mac was the most, most gangster. I don't want to say the name of the book. Mac was the most gangster. Y'all got to say the name. Say the name. So yeah, that's a funny story though. Let the record reflect. Right, yeah. I'm on after this day. I ain't gonna say that story. A motherfucker told his engineer time. he was gonna clap him in front of me and Mac. Me and Mac was like, the nigga with the Hey yo, bottle? fix that shit. I'm gonna clap this shit. Yeah, bro, me and Mac was like, yo, what was going on? I'm like, yo, I'm like, I'm gonna clap this shit. I'm about shit. to clap this He looked dead in QI and said, I'm about to clap. <laughs> yeah, he looked at it. Hey, yo. Oh, right took there. the headphones off. Remember, man? He took the headphones oh, off. It was like, bing. He like, he looked oh, dead at me and my eye. He said, God, hey, he yo. Was, hey, yo, bro. I'm about to clap this. <laughs> the engineer sitting there yeah. scared as a motherfucker. I'm like, yeah. Yo, we might have to get the fuck up out of here. I don't know what he thought this was a gangster party or whatever he thought it was about to be. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go. I'm just here with Mac Wise, bro. We trying to get a little song off. You in so, here tripping, talking about you about to smoke something. We cool, homie. He gave us a gangster. Shit. He gave us a gangster chronicle for like three hours. You a funny nigga. Bro. I fell asleep on cup. <laughs> when people ask to be on a song, asleep. do you God, have to go to the studio the with them, or do they send you the? Oh they send I you fell the asleep in the session. He was like, kicking so much it. gangster shit. I just fell asleep. Well, or session. do you go to the studio? Mac, when I woke up, I wake up. He said, "Oh, he's even working when he sleep." Remember that. He was in all oh, creating mode. He was just, he was all, he was just all gangster. Yeah, that yeah. nigga was on oh spice. That nigga said that nigga was on spice. That was the thing, you know what I mean? Damn, was you there? Oh, you know, you wasn't there, huh? No, I wasn't there. Was, you you heard that so, story so before. I'll be, I'll nah, be yeah, yeah, Don't chill. Don't do that, bro. You burnt out. <laughs> Chill, chill. I'm gonna clap this nigga. Yeah, that was a crazy <laughs> session. That nigga down there was touching that nigga head when he yeah. said this shit. I'm about to what? clap. He was, like, oh, he was on him like this. And looking at me, though. He like, <laughs> hey, that's when I got put oh, on 42, though. You know, like this. That was that's my first time saying 19, He looking dead at me like, because he did kick you in the ass. I'm about to clap this nigga. <laughs> Yeah. Niggas made some heat that night too, though. Oh, you Shout got it out, on? Man. We definitely he made some heat that day. We made some heat, and it was on the album. Oh, <laughs> One of the albums. Yeah, yeah, we ain't gonna say nothing because it's gonna let the record reflect. Not to make the record reflect, but it's over. But, um, yeah. What they doing? T TF and Tiny gonna be with you? Uh, I think TF is. Yeah. TF. TF yeah. over Oof. there practicing the shot. Yeah, he over there. Yeah. Yeah. TF getting the yeah. shot right. What? Oh, well. On what? In the car or the on the walk up? Things turn into anime. Oh yeah, let's stop. We're giving out the narrative. He should go. Yeah, no, he should. Yeah, he should anime. Oh, Tony, follow you, nigga. Uh, I'm gonna read a couple super chats. At T L O L sent a hundred dollars to ask you this, Vince. He said, "Send in this because I heard Vince was Haitian. Are you Haitian?" Cause you Haitian? Uh, I'm from California, man. Don't know that should apply. <laughs> but my grandfather did come from a place. But then they they was in Stockton in like 1910. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like all that shit over with. Oh, dog, like get the. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Shout out to J Ken. He sent 200 today. Thank you, J Ken. We appreciate you. Get that else. I want this else. That's back. You said yeah. Go ahead. Put the back on feed. Go ahead, Vince. Hey, Vince, if you got something to do too, you can get your ass up too, man. I mean, y'all got y'all got super chats for me, so I can get y'all money. Okay, I'm saying let's let let it. Let get them super chats yeah, off. Come on, don't, don't waste your breath. Do you want it? Paul. Super chats. What you oh, okay. Paul. Go ahead. Yeah. You said do you want it? You didn't say oh, okay. I'm just saying. I just heard somebody gave a hundred dollars. So we we need every dollar, King. Yeah, we need every dollar for sure. As a man. Uh, Ricardo man, Ortega said, Q, we right? need a growing oh, no, up with Smack yeah. story and why you haven't done any music with BMG. He's off I'm here already, so, oh well. What would he say? He said, Ricardo Ortega said, Q, we need a growing up story with Smack and why he haven't done any music with BMG. I don't know who that is. Shout out my nigga Smack. Shout out BMG. That's uh, the Baca and the, uh, when damn, Smack comes back, about wine. Switch, yeah, there we go. Better living. Yeah, shout out to them. Uh, Louis Lemon sent $5. He said, the dress ain't black, man. It's silly. These motherfuckers made it like that. Shout out to Robin Williams and Dan Ackward, whatever that oh, is. Oh, God. Robin Williams was going crazy. Oh, shout out to my nigga topic. G3, man. Mm -hmm. Over there, you know what I mean? That nigga, a tricky nigga right there trying to jump me. Tiny. 
Sea Will TV sent brother. five dollars. He said, "I'm an actor on Two B Two. Don't leave me out." Shout out to you. Shout out my two. Shout out to homie Gator because he gave me a whole uh, rundown of how I supposed to, uh, to submit shit to uh, Tubi. No, not submit it, but how I supposed to upload a the director up. and the actor. You know what I'm saying? The actor aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? How we supposed to lay hot the whole layout of it. You feel me? The writer, you feel me? Like how I supposed to do this shit and then put it on every platform. You feel me? Then go about like trying to, you know, go get producers and directors or whatever the case may be. Because I'm like, wow, we should just shoot a movie. Because Kai, shout out to Kai Sanat because he just did that shit, put it on YouTube. I think it was like 14 minutes. It was also like rush hour type shit, but it would look big budget. It was hard. So, you know what I'm saying? Somebody (laughs) might pick that shit up and like, he looked like a real deal actor, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, Gosh, we should. A short film for 14 minutes? Oh, mm-hmm. God in heaven, nigga, on his YouTube. It's, on YouTube. it's, it's hard. hard. I'm it's talking crazy. about it's hard. It's all rushing. Uh, rush it's all rush hour. hour. Uh, Ricardo Ortega sent another $5. He said, Keem, whose boot hurt more? Q's on stage or Trails 22 off live? Just now. <laughs> I ain't never been booted by neither one of these niggas. No, he kicked you in the ass. No, Q kicked you in the ass. They never kicked my ass. He, he tried. He definitely tried, though. <laughs> That's crazy, though. He definitely tried. That's cool. The guy at TLOL sent another 100. This is 200. He said, we Haitian, Vince. That's the narrative. Truth in the detail. <laughs> that nigga said, you he wants you to Haitian. say. You gonna claim this shit. Right, yeah, to man. say 200. <laughs> I'm with it. Like, you know what I mean? I grew up having earthquakes. Like, that happened out there, too. So, like, yeah, for real. I guess it's all Haitian all right, shit. For sure. Yeah, he wants your 200 though, because it's, it's for nah, you. Nah, man, nah, 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 I can keep nah, nah. it. That's like a thing over here. Sure I can thing. keep it. He said I can so keep it. When you recorded <laughs> Magic, <laughs> did you go to the studio with Mustard to record it, or did he just send it to you and say, hey, get on it? Nah, I had to. I had to. You can Come finish, on, talk about you with myself. So I had the beat. Uh-huh. I just do, like, big sessions and, like, put all the beats in the session. And then it's like. Uh, Yo, you just cook straight through. Yeah, and then, like, just pick different parts like loop the beat for like 10 minutes and I was just like a 10 minute thing and I just structured it later wow so, yeah, so you did it without hard. him yeah wow, he was actually hard yeah, so I sent him after. Question from it was a loop though it wasn't the beat it was just a bunch of mm-hmm. top line loops and then you put them in one session and then whatever when I, I did, first heard that song I thought out. it was Tiger yeah I love fuck with Tiger I definitely yeah, I was Tiger. like damn this is hard Who, who the yeah fuck when Tiger like? came out I was in this what 8th grade that's crazy 7th 8th grade that is crazy what the bottom of the coconut yeah, that no, that's nasty. Okay, next question. That's it. You're that's it. Here. You know what I mean? Super chats going crazy. You know what I mean? Shout out my nigga Vince Staple for coming through. Oh, Love good. him to death. You know what I mean? Um, he was doing it Boy. up for us, <laughs> man. Sure. Yeah, my I finally brother. got you here, bro. You know what I mean? What no foolery? I got real deal questions. Shout out my nigga Ocho. Ocho got a lot of love for you, boy. Hold on, man. Hold on. Yeah. (laughs) Shout out my nigga Ocho. Ocho story. So this is my dog. Yeah. (laughs) Shout out Ocho. Hey, ninth grade type shit. This nigga secretly knew karate, right? (laughs) Secretly. And my family from Compton. So like when he found out my family from Compton, he like kind of didn't want to tell me who his pops was. His pops is like a legendary nigga, right? That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. So we walking down the street. We got a little racial conflict in Long Beach. It's like 10 niggas, like 10 Hispanics. I'm like, hey, you see that? He like, I ain't tripping. I'm like, well, I'm tripping. Like, what? Well, we should pay attention to what's going on. I'm like, I'm not. He's like, I ain't tripping, I ain't tripping, I ain't tripping. We walk in Miami. We ain't in Long Beach, we ain't in Compton. We in Bellflower. So we don't even know who these niggas is. We yeah, try you to never walk know in. what's going on in Bellflower. Is anything you, yeah. I seen that nigga pull one of these. Like Ooh. mid-fight, he, I'm like, oh, you like on some karate kid shit. I'm talking about spinning kicks. I'm talking about knees. <laughs> I'm talking, about, I'm talking about elbows. <laughs> I I never seen a nigga beat up 10 niggas like at once. It was like some Jackie Ocho Chan did. shit. Oh my God. It was like out. some Jackie Chan shit. You gotta pull up Ocho, now. Man. Yeah, you gotta pull up for sure. Now. That's that's my dog. I love that nigga to death. Him, fucking Bankhead, Taco, Dope Boy. Like, them is really my dogs. Like, that's growing hard. up with them niggas. And I appreciate it. Kicking it with them when we was kids. Cause, like, in Long Beach, we really got no bloods. And, like, when you. When I, we met the like, Doughboy mom is somebody from the north side. So it's like when you meet them at a young age and then you kind of, it, it kind of just missed the bullshit early for niggas. Because it's like, these are my homies and they from the mob. And it's like, them niggas at hood day, funeral. We like, we throwing candlelights for their homies. They doing candlelights for our homies. Like, it's, it make, like he was saying, it, it let us know that all that other shit was bullshit. So yeah. shout out my nigga Ocho. I love that nigga to death. That's my dog. And I mean, I'm out here. Ocho, man. Ocho. Yeah, shout out Ocho, man. Boy. 
Shout out my it's nigga Vince show. for coming yeah, through, man. You feel me? Yeah, show. we doing this shit up here, man. Back on Fig. We love y'all to death. We definitely ain't getting off. We just in here chilling. Pastor Paul sent $2. Uh, he said, ask Vince when he's getting him and TF on the track. Uh, yeah. They already did he it. Said yeah, they, did it yeah. already. they did it already. They did it already. They doing it up. You know what I'm saying? Another guy said, I seen Vince live in Philly 2017 and became <laughs> a fan of Tyler. Vince dropped two classic albums back to back and ain't and ain't given his credit. He's not here to back that up, but that was a super chat. Okay, that's a super chat, man. Hey, look, Yak, get your ass over here with this big stupid ass purple hat on. We need you to come sit down. <laughs> you know what I mean? And come yeah. let the record reflect one time, man. Hey, my nigga. Yeah. yeah, you got the purse on with the whole. Oh, hold on. What is this? You know what I'm saying? This is uh. It's giving vibes hey. over here, man. Share it's your uh, mic. yeah, what's man. What's the vibes is giving? The vibes. What's the, yeah, yeah, what's the, what's the vibes? This is it's, it's giving <laughs> Erica Badu Andre <laughs> three thousand. <laughs> I can see, I can see the three thousand. <laughs> oh, he's right. He's from the so, left. Hey, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's talking about giving my nigga right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay. This is in this big Dallas, nigga. That's too right Dallas, right? Okay, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got that nigga right. Yeah, what's up, Bruce? Yeah, that nigga, my nigga, yakking in the building. Yeah, you from Texas? Yes, he's from. Is this big? Is this big Dallas? Is this big Dallas? I'm from Dallas, you're from Dallas. Yeah, no, no, Dallas. Yeah, Cliff, nigga. No, I'm from Arlington, but I'm from Arlington. I'm from Arlington. You from Fort Worth, Texas? Okay, but he's from Arlington. He still said Dallas, so shut up. I know about Fort Worth. I know about Fort Worth. Okay, so you're okay. My mom is from Fort Worth. We're not at home right now, so we family. Right, yeah, yeah. But we say Dallas because people don't know what Arlington is. I asked you. I asked you. Heather, yeah. I'm, ask, I'm asking you, Damn. is this the style out there? <laughs> this ain't he the style. He has his own it's style. Yeah, I love I'm him. asking you what you know out there for this. Wait, wait, this wait this hold on. Nigga. 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 I'm not hey, trying yo, to bless him. That's what makes this nigga a standout nigga. Yeah, my nigga, yeah, yeah. we don't want to fuck with nobody that's trying to be like the style in the thing down. We finna, we finna home nigga, with a swag, gas. nigga. So now I'm on yeah, you. We finna home with a swag. First of all. We finna home with a swag. Yeah. Do you, do you, do it. Do your motherfucking Googles, nigga. Home with a swag. Yeah, yeah. Get right. Get right, nigga. What you doing, bro? You're not stupid ass. Let me give it back to my nigga. I saw him. Yeah, yeah, we be jigging this shit. Q. I mean, uh, I mean, you, you, I'm on you can't tell me nothing about him. I'm on the swag. Because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm on here. Yeah, I don't know what no, y'all yeah, on. Why you on me? Cause you I, it's my play. nigga. I never tried to play. I don't think you did. Oh, they they try to figure it out. They try to figure it out. They got smoke, huh? No, they got smoke. Let me talk. That nigga, that nigga, Cal said, huh? We got a smoke. Let me talk. Let me talk. Keem, let me talk. Let me talk. I like him because I saw him come into the studio with Q, and he literally was in there for five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. He laid a whole chorus down. There was a whole fire ass song that Q decided not to put on the album that he came in and put the sauce on. Yeah, nigga. That's you on, right? I'm not on it. You was 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 on it. In the background. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Oak Cliff, my Oak Cliff niggas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fort Worth, All right, so let me let me let me get a little information in, right? So, yeah, because y'all all over the place. Yeah. It's Oak Cliff, right? Okay. Then it's Oak Cliff Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Fort yeah. Worth. <laughs> and then what else y'all? Uh, Arlington. Uh, Arlington. Yeah. But it's like all. And, and y'all all from y'all three different places? DFW. or It's like the DFW. 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 LA. DFW. OC. Whatever. So who's LA? Who's LA? I want to know who's LA. Dallas. Dallas. Okay, who is that? Is that you? You ain't even got Okay, okay. I touched him. He's trying to separate the shit. It's all. I got him. It's DFW. My fault. Is it Dallas, Fort Worth. I'm just asking. I don't know about Dallas like that. I'm just asking. You should get to Dallas. To, to I'm phone. on you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't worry about it, my boy. All right, look. All bullshit is to the side. 
<laughs> yet <laughs> let these niggas know who you are, what you do. You know what I'm saying? Your contribution to this uh, shit, man. I'm just Cause you artist, out here doing I'm it. Out here real. just creating. You know, coming from Dallas, Texas, or Arlington, DFW. Yeah, nigga, claim where you from, nigga. Don't try to come to Oak Cliff with us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, trying to come over the woods. Claim where you from, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you this. Nigga, nigga, trying to come is it easy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it easy? No, no, no. Big T with me. What you trying to say? I'm here there for a minute. He ain't Oak Cliff like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let you from Oak Cliff? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Bro, Big T original. Big T original. Big T original. Yeah. Home of the Wookies. Home of the Wookies. They got the Wookies. I don't hear that shit. Let Jack get his shit off. Like my fault. I really, I don't really got too much to give off shit. It's just like, hey, Yak, Yakin, that's me. I'm an artist. Coming from Texas, mm -hmm. and yeah, I'm out here. I'm out here in LA, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I don't feel like that. Yeah, I mean, Where your confidence come from? Where does that stem from? I feel like since the day mm -hmm. before I even met you, that was like the thing that was just like popping out about it, like bro, confident. That's what yeah. I seen first. Then I met you, I'm like, oh, he really confident. Why you kill Barney, nigga, and put him on a fucking hat, homie? All right, all right, all right, As a man, like, I'm just trying to talk to this nigga respectfully. I don't like, even remember if Barney, was Barney first? Was that Barney, hey, nigga? I don't, I don't know if Barney was first. You put that nigga this on This shit him. ain't player, bro. That's player, no, nigga. That's what I'm trying to see. What made what you, saying. you feel me? Peter! <laughs> <laughs> Where can they find you on Instagram so we can put it in the chat? Yakin, Y-A-K-I-Y-N. Yeah, fuck fuck let's me. get to All that. Right, hold on, I got some more questions. Yeah, 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 hey, listen, y'all playing, CC. That's what Mac started. That nigga killed so Cal, Prentice. You need to be getting that Mac like you're getting at me right now. Get that Mac. What, what? Look what he started right there. Look what's on the screen. That's tough. Look what's on the screen. I didn't start that. Okay. I didn't start that. I said some other shit. That's tough. Come on, man. That's tough. Go ahead. What you asking? No, I want to know far as like, all right, so I already asked about the confidence and shit, though, right? Yeah. So. Can you even get this off in Dallas and it be received the same? Or you feel like because you're in L.A. right now, yeah, you get this I off? Yeah, I mean, I can get it off in Dallas. It's just hot as hell out there. So okay. it's just like me trying to wear this out there. It's like... Uh, don't make sense. It don't really make sense. But, like, if it's cold enough, it's like, yeah, I'll put that shit on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, for sure. All right, then outside of that, then... Uh, you and Cal relationship, because he got a big, like, he got, like, big protection over you right now. It's, like, crazy. <laughs> He like big protection. It's crazy. That's so true, like, like true. for real though, for real. Like, cause he from Dallas. When I first met this nigga, he big, big, big Dallas, big. Uh, he he brought stiff. He started telling us about stiff. We were like stiff. That's false. Okay. Oh. That's right. okay. No, no, I get it. I get. It. I'm not knocking you. I'm not knocking you. I'm just saying. You just, you just yeah, saying mean, that was the thing. Which cut? You feel me? Yeah. Right. right? So I'm just asking you. I'm not. I'm not even as confident as you to wear that. He's and not listen, from the home of the swag. All right, watch this, Kyle. Listen, you one more word out of you, boy. We gonna take it. It feel good, bro. You put this. Shit on. I wear the hat for sure. Put, put, put the hat on. Put the hat on. Put the hat on, Keith. Hey, you can put it on with the. Yeah, there you go, man. Come on. Let's yeah. Yes, sir. Real fashion. Real fashion. My nigga back wearing the wigs. Come on, man. Back wearing the wigs, baby. I love this for you, Keem. You fuck with that? Is it comfortable? I fuck with it. Bob nigga back on, man. True to been, itself, man. Well, that man. Be true to and, itself, that man. That shit no, 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 no. dry and watered no, no, down. No, 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 <laughs> Ask him again. What'd you say? I've been waiting to get my hat, man. So you hating again? Stop hating, Heather. It's dry and watered down. I be sounding everybody with a hat except for me. I'm like, <laughs> shit. I like the purple hat, That boy. motherfucker comfortable, though, right? Shout out Dedicated, though. I fuck with the purple one. I got I'm it. Dedicated, man. Thank you, man. Look, Thank you, now dedicated. look. Look, look at him now. Now he wait. What you think? Now I'm wavy. That's all it takes. <laughs> I like that. I like I'll that say. for Kim. I like that for Kim, though. You got to really trying to switch your swag up a little bit. That's what for I'm really real. trying to get into. You should, though. At this big you got to my, my, young, my young creatives. Sir, take that fucking hat What'd he look like to you, Heather? Why? He looked like yeah. a damn Heather, you put it on the hat. Yeah, put, no time, put it on. Let's just pass the hat. No, she looks fine. <laughs> Give me the bag, too. The bag, too. <laughs> let me see. There you go. Ooh. Do his thing. Yeah. Why did it look like that? That look bullshit on Heather. <laughs> so what did it look like? Yeah. What did it look like? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. No, that's that's right. Right. Where you be finding these pieces at, Yak? Like where you, oh, where you be going to get this shit? Made, man. Custom. Matter of fact, yeah. you don't, don't even tell niggas. Matter of fact. 
I mean, this but shit was custom made. What man. this is? It came no, with yak, the yak, came yak, with the bag. yak. No, yak. Shout out to Are you my... like, you know what I'm saying? Let's, next. Let's, let's, hold hey, on. next. Let's, no, no, no. Oh. For real. Let's let the record reflect. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing musically? You know what I'm saying? What is your contribution to all of this shit? Working with my boy, Cal. You know what I'm saying? Like, working with Q. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are your contributions coming into this studios, nigga, and curating this music? You know what I'm saying? Because uh, niggas really want to... Niggas don't know. But I need to know, you feel me? And we need to put niggas on because from what I saw, like Heather said, it was something that was so crazy and inspirational and the energy that you came in with, you feel me, to, to make that song, you know, even in the album process... Is a beautiful thing, nigga. I appreciate you know what I mean? that. Like that's crazy. So, like, like you know, what I'm saying, what do you do? Like, are you like a uh, producing your thing? Like, are you know, what I'm saying, you taking your artistry more serious, or you know, what I'm saying, like, what's your steps in this shit? Yeah, I'm taking my artistry more serious. I mean, just being around like Cal and Q, like they're the greats, like in my eyes, like very creative and shit like that. So it's like. Whatever energy I can bring on to the table, like, it's all for it, you know? And yeah. just being in them spaces and, like, becoming a sponge, you know? And just really sucking that, well, pause, but. Oh! Sucking it all <laughs> up. <laughs> pause, oh. you know? Oh. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, like, just, like, I don't even know how to say it without it you sounding pause. You know what I'm just taking that shit, you know. Yeah. And, and, no. Taking that shit with a grain of salt. But I mean, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, you trying to build these relationships. You trying to. these relationships, man. It's just creating. Are you an artist and you rap on your own? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know. I'm an artist and I rap too. Tell you something about this nigga. Come on. We was, I had to be like, I had to be, what's really crazy. All right, this this is like a full like circle moment type shit. I used to DJ uh, in Dallas or whatever, and I would DJ concerts and shit. My first big concert that I ever DJ in Dallas was a Q concert, and this nigga was there. He was like 16, 16, 17 maybe or something like that. He was young though. I just remember this nigga had a big ass hockey jersey on. And he was just getting everybody lit in the whole thing while I was DJing. Him and his friends, they just turned it up. He ain't, I don't, did, you, he was, did you know Q at this time? No, I didn't know Q. Right. I, I didn't know Q, bro. Like, I just got put on by my boy Angel. And they had this group back at home. Yeah, shout out to Angel, Will, all them. They used to always throw concerts back at the crib. And that was just like a, a lit group just back at, at, back at home. And they asked me to DJ at the concert. And shit, I was doing my shit or whatever, and this nigga jumped up on the stage. He just turning everybody up, just dancing and just being him. And me and him, we didn't really like connect right there, but over time, just being outside, me DJing and this nigga just being one of the littest niggas in the city, we just started like linking up and shit, and niggas ended up here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, wow. that's hard, dog. You, Cause you, like, I'ma keep saying it, you DJing, like you put me on so much shit. Like, shout yeah. out to Smino. Yeah. I was like, who, the, I'm saying like, who the fuck is this? I had to tell him, nigga, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, you know, a little older, sorry. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't, yeah. I'm not up on everything, but he yeah. going crazy. And I'm like, and I don't want to seem stupid. You feel me? Like, dang, <laughs> like, this is crazy. Like, yeah. But, like, once I got his name, I'm like, you feel me? As soon as I get to the car, this is finna be your repeat, yeah. bitch. Yeah, yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hit you put me on a song. When you got like, to the car? It hit even crazier. That's hard. In the car. You know how you go in the car. If it hit in the car, it's a hit. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? You did put me on those songs and shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, recognizing him in the crowd and all that. That shit is just like, how that shit connect just be like super beautiful. Like, how that shit be going, man. Man, bro. That shit, yeah. And this nigga, like, I'm telling you, just, I don't even think, when you start rapping. Yeah, like, like four years ago. Like he started Damn. rapping like four years ago, but the thing is, I'm always in that. I was just like, fuck it. I was always in the environment and shit, and I was just like, man, let me like try that shit out. Like, fuck it. That's hard. The, like the thing was like we had we had like a club when we was we had this club called Club G when I was in high school, 
And like niggas didn't really believe like it was our club, but like I was like 18 years old. We was, I was DJing in this club. Me and my friends had this club. And this nigga would be in that bitch like every weekend. And he would be the littest nigga in there. He was young. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, bro, who is this nigga, dog? You know what I'm saying? Like just a young ass nigga, like just going up. So you when you when you when you got introduced to the camp and all that, you feel like bro was always in the back of your mind oh, to like go back yeah. and reach back from the city. Yeah, he was definitely always one of the ones when I got the opportunity. Cause you like big pro city. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said that. Shout out, Kyle Banks. He loved Dallas. It was just Dallas, <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> but he I'm just saying. But Dallas. the thing is, is that like I feel like Dallas. I mean, like shit. If it ain't, I'm never gonna go for it just cause it's from Dallas. There's never, like, whatever's good, if it's tight, that's what I'm going for. You know what I'm saying? Is it so, more South? What is it that you love? I feel like, the, it's like a running joke with you. Like, when Kyle come in, he gonna bring some South shit. Yeah, cause I'm just, I'm, that's just in my blood. That's just where I'm from. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, I can't run away from that shit. No matter what, that's just, whatever I do, it's gonna be some. Of that nature in anything that I do. Yeah, you know all water burger. All water burger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Yeah, water 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 Let's talk about water 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 it. Water 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 um, I don't know. I'll be feeling like we got to get past that story, though, because even though that's a big part of your story. Nah, but I feel like I, I, I agree with you. I feel like now sometimes they be, I don't want the story to be the whole thing. I don't about like me. that, though. To be the story to be the whole thing? No, I just don't like the fact that, like, because now we like putting, we pouring water on this real story. When all we ask for is real situations and people tie into I'm, it just see fake like niggas talking about I got shot 50 times like it just see yeah, fake yeah nigga that's a different yeah. type that's just different how many different. times you got shot? 28 28 times yeah. what? Yeah. oh my god do y'all think yeah. 50 career would have took off the way it took off at one time at one time bro what yes. you are a walking blessing that's what I'm saying so it's like Think for about real. 50, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, he's the angel right for here. For so real, that's like crazy. That's not, that's not name, normal. Name, that ain't nothing normal about that. No, so it's like, I, I, get, I, get, I, get, I get what real talking about. It's like, so what's the next step after that? What's the mm -hmm. next, what, when, when is the next chapter going to open after that? And I feel mm -hmm. like I, that's what you I'm going to You got to get the 50 though. song because 50 did the same thing in this time frame, right? And turns out he didn't even get shot nine times at one time. He got shot at, he got shot. He just put that all into the story. Yeah. I just let you know how marking it is. Like he didn't get shot nine times at one time. Damn, he got shot that. nine times, and they put that all into one story, and we bought bought it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like for me, I'm like, hold on, how do we act like that's not a thing? It's really, it's, it is really yeah. a thing. I mean, we'll, we'll do, but how do we introduce him now? Oh, hey, shout out Bell. He got shot 28 oh, no, times. Just shout out, shout out Bell. I, I like what he's doing. I fuck with my boy. He working hard. And he got shot 28 times. Like, how do we? <laughs> How do we incorporate so that? I get it. I get but it. How do I get we keep incorporating that shit? Like, but a lot of people mean. don't know him. I mean, I feel like I guess he, when he get to a stature to where people know him, you know what I'm saying, and acknowledging him for his music contributions and whatever he got going on, then maybe we stop saying it, and then maybe you kind of figure it out as a fan. But I, I mean, if he ain't to that level, I think maybe we. We got to just keep repeating that so, so, shit so, because so, the nigga is an angel sitting right here. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Facts, facts. I didn't even know. That's 28 crazy. So, so what you got? You got you got you got a lot you got a lot of interesting takes and a lot of like uh cuz cuz when you when you talk about LA music, I am on I watch back on Fig every I'm on, you know, y'all the homies yeah. I watch it. So you got a lot of takes on pivoting and artists in the career. What you what what's the pivot? You pivoting into that. I feel like uh it's, it be real rap. You know, and just figuring out like a lot of figuring out who you are. Okay. Instead of following the trend. I, I never follow. I, be I think like, don't the formula. You, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just be feeling like everybody be following trends, and this is just music in general. If some hot niggas just hop on it. But like Vince was saying, like this is like a a uniform for rap. Like niggas put on a jewelry, niggas put on a whole Dior fit, like. Hold it's your a uniform, face. like this is what's for hot. sure. Like, and, uh, but I be feeling like you should be you. Like, 
Look, cuz, come on here. <laughs> like, this him. We never know. In yeah. two, two, three years, he might be just as big as Andre. Now we looking like, and I'm be like, damn, he was just sitting right here. Yeah. Because he was himself. Yeah. You know nah. what I mean? That's what I be feeling like. It be nah, falling but bro off himself though. But listen, you get—I I know you get told that. I know you feel that insecurity of like I can't even. My your story is your story. I'm not saying yeah. lean on only that story. But I don't even tell it. I, people, I know. I know I, you don't. That's I, what I'm trying I, to say. I, like I know I, you don't. But yeah. at the same time, like, but. God, Lee. That's tough. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Porsche's on Friday. Oh, oh my God. God. Thanks, Mr. Yeah. President. <laughs> Damn, that's yeah, tough. Moves back here, picking on the artists and shit that's again. That's tough. That's tough. But what I was trying to say is like 50. Yeah. Any nigga that endured that situation, or I just say the up and cup, the, the artists just right capitalized now. Capitalized on it. It's kind of fucked up. They want to see you like, like 50 went at Ja, and the, the public perceived that as Ja and them has something to do with this shit. That's how the public perceived it. That's why he's able to go at them. It made it a story. Yeah. And then you look at like Dirk and them, right? They kind of like want to see the get back in real time. So you, too, you, weird. you want me to it's say fuck up. them niggas? Yeah. Yeah. So, tomorrow I'm gonna wake up. And that's like, more. Fuck that's them marketing. That's you like. Go viral, y'all. It's like now that's the way it is, but it's like. <laughs> yeah. They want to go viral. But it's like okay, so that's why it's like damn, there. I don't even want to bring this up then because. If I'm not about to show y'all in real time how I'm about to get my get back or at least get at these niggas, you feel me? But it I do, can't. It, but what, what, what's going to happen when I do that, then? That's what I'm saying. That's why it's a fucked up game. Then it's going to be like, okay, we got to be ready for whatever. That's why I get him at. Like, okay, gotta, we got to go past that now. Because yeah. I'm going I'm to still wake up on, on Hardell on Andy first. Like, you feel me? So when I'm going to go talk my shit, like, fuck you, bitch ass niggas. Cause I feel like that sometimes, or all the time, as a man, then then what's gonna happen? Like the repercussions when I do that? Then I gotta be working about Kendall. I gotta worry about Diablo. Heather, are you on your phone right now? I gotta worry about what's going no. on. You know? That's crazy. That's disrespectful. That's so crazy. <laughs> but <laughs> even though, like, still, like, looking at you, homie. It's no way I can just be like that nigga got shot twenty eight motherfucking times. I I couldn't tell. It's we the have truth. to look. We not have to all. give this not man at all, something. bro. It's the truth though. Yeah, we have to protect this nigga. Twenty eight times. Nigga. He gotta be somewhere. Twenty eight times and they stood over him. This nigga produced. He didn't rap. get shot from a distance. They stood over him. You gotta get with these niggas because you I'm gotta here. just hey, walk up, start telling niggas this shit. Like, hey, I got shot twenty eight times. That's I'm here. That's what you got. You don't think that's weird though? Like, hey man, you know I got shot twenty eight times. Hey, look, I'm cute. Nah, homie. I don't look, think check this out. We gonna start it off nah, with that. That's your story, homie. bro. That shit lit. I, I mean, not to say it like that, I'm but here, like, I love rap. <laughs> so as artists, as, 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 as nigga, both y'all, crazy, y'all both right? artists, you ain't heard this shit. That's OD, nigga. You ain't heard this shit, he ain't heard your shit, right? I ain't heard, yeah. And you a producer, so let me just ask y'all right now, like, is it as easy as just, okay, like tonight, now y'all look, y'all learn a little about bro. You done heard something about bro. You done heard something about bro. Yeah. Is it as easy as just pulling up, like, let's just try to see if we can cook. Is it like that? It's, I mean, it's just, it's like, I feel like it's always a, a situation to where it's like, if niggas is in the situation, if we there, like, for sure, I'm an open-minded person. Like, if it's good, it's good. All I care about is a good song, bro. Like, everything else is like, yeah, that's No, nice. but I feel like Dr. Dre and them niggas took somebody like his story. Mm-hmm. I'm asking you as a producer, uh-huh. can you take somebody like his story and his skill and say, you know, we about to go, we about to go kick I with this. Like, how, how can you craft it? How yeah, can how can you? Like, hey, look, I, don't, I don't know. Like, cause I, is I that never, a thing? I, I mean, not for me. Because I never looked at it like, I never looked at Yak and be like, man, yo, story of how you got this shit on or whatever. I think that can be the angle. I heard the song. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, is the song good? I right, bet. That's what I, I want to work with. The, the, if the song is good or not. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, like, if, yeah, if... If he got if he got some skills to make a good song, then hell yeah, cause that make it even easier with a story, cause that give us so much material to write about. You know what I'm saying? As a man. Yeah, for sure. As a man. I fuck with that. Man, I love this shit, man. You know what I mean? I'm back on Fig in here, man. Got Fig. so many different yeah. artists in here coming through, Take man. That. My peoples. You know what I'm saying? Run that, run that. You know what I mean? 
Shout out. Don't worry, let me. Shout out to the people as a shout man. Out. Yeah. Hey, shout out. Hey, shout out to the people that's fucking with the hat. Dedicated high as a man. Uh, as, a man. Yeah, 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 as a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this bitch yeah, furry, man. but hey, it's comfy. Man. We comfy. Sure? We comfy all year. As a man. Come, check. Come, come sit in. Come sit in, man. Come stupid camera. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come sit in, man. Yo, come on, get good over here, man. Cameraman. No, it's all good. You want to say? Or you wanna, what you, wanna hey, uh, you want to? What you want to do? You want somebody else? Second. Go ahead, come on. Come on, my boy. It's time, baby. Yeah, all right, so shout out to my boy Slim. All right, Terrell. Ask that nigga about the art. Oh, yeah. All right, Ooh, shout out to my boy Slim. Full walking in too, though, right now, though. But Full shout out to Slim. 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 Where Big Moo? Like, Big Moo. Most of us be scared. So Slim gonna be scared to talk about a lot of like so. Who is Slim, man? Scott, what it oh, do, bro? Oh damn! Look, what Slim do, said, hey, Scott Hutch in the building. And everybody looked that good. We might have to have him get the fuck up because he got all the files in his camera. Look, he's holding the camera. No, he, no, he got all the shit. He, so he, he got all the shit. He got. He can take you down. He got good perspective. TMZ. He got good perspective. TMZ. I'm I'm gonna he done worked with every artist from the camp. Every I'm, artist. A, I'm a respectable camera. Is there any artist you ever worked with the camp? You said, is there any artist what? That you haven't worked with? Haven't okay. worked with? Yeah. No, I think I work with everybody. Everybody, right? Yeah. You worked with everybody. Man, you behind the camera. Give me my, your most memorable moment, you know what I'm saying, of the artist that you really love. Like, give me that moment, you feel me? You was behind the camera where you felt like, God damn, this is crazy. I can't believe this shit. Uh, probably when we went to uh, Russia on Crash Talk. Uh, none of us have been to Russia. Nobody speaks any English. And we didn't even know if the show was going to be cracking because when we got there, it was looking kind of like, it was looking real light. And then by the time the show started, that motherfucker was... Crazy. It was you got to the mosh pit there, right? Yeah, that, my, that was the big, That was probably the biggest mosh pit I ever seen on, on any tour. Jeez. Yeah, that motherfucker opened up from wall to wall. It was kind of crazy, my nigga. Jeez. Like, God damn. <laughs> so that's my nigga in the middle of the past talking, you know what I'm saying, mosh pit. <laughs> but you been recording, man. Like, who'd you start off with? Who'd you start off you know what I'm saying? Like, vlogging for Q was the first artist. Q? Yeah. Okay, and then first after artist. Q, who was it? After Q, I did a, I went on tour with uh, Soul. Then after Soul, went back with Q. Then after Q, Zay. Worked with Kendrick a little bit in between that. Like some, like off the, you know, off the, the scene type shit. And then from there, just trickled down to everybody. J Rock, so yeah, SZA, forgot about SZA, yeah. worked with her a lot. So all those vlogs that you see, you know what I'm saying, they kind of come from you, you know what I'm saying, that footage. Yeah, over the past. But it also allows yeah. you to make it, make it see a lot of day. Yeah. So what do you do with that type of footage as a videographer? How does that, like, I'm just Whoa. asking. Oh, that shit just sitting on my, on my drive right now. The shit that I know that niggas ain't tripping <laughs> about, I, I'll, like, you know, put out. But yeah. Everything else is just sitting on the drives. That shit is just collecting dust for right now. Yeah, tell me, tell me about that time when King almost got kicked in the ass. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know. No, your camera was out. No, your camera was out. I don't even remember that you have exact the footage. moment, though. That's why I wanted him to sit down, because he has that footage. Exactly. He has exactly. that footage. I need He's him to see. He's telling you right me... now. He don't, even, he don't no. know No. He's just protecting you. <laughs> That's God, cool. That you was I... on stage. I really don't you know, remember no, no, Hold on, let me, let, me give you a, let me give you a real stat. He was on stage. This the nigga that took MacWap job. When MacWap got fired, oh, he took over the job. He was a DJ. Oh, he <laughs> DJ? Yeah, yeah, this is him. Whoa! Yeah, 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 this is him. Oh. When Mac got fired, when Mac <laughs> he, he the one that took oh. over the job. This is, this is Slim man. right here. He like, damn. Real Army man. Swiss knife, ass nigga. <laughs> Army Swiss knife. So hold on, did you, so you had that meet with Q, it's like, Q, I could DJ, bro. I got yeah, you. He came to me. I didn't come to him. He, they came to me. So. <laughs> and they was like, bro, you got to DJ. I was already DJing on the tour, like, in between the acts. Oh. So they already, niggas already knew I DJ and shit. Yeah. So, that, yeah, that was and that. And then That's you dropped the ball like a motherfucker. And he was pulling up everywhere he got to go. <laughs> yeah. so low. I fucked up the first show, yeah. He was pulling up. He was pulling up. He fucked the show up. First show, he yeah. fucked the show up bad, nigga. What are you sure. talking about? How you fuck up? Uh, he was on beat. Nah, I like, uh, I don't know what, I pressed the shortcut rhythm. or something and rearranged the whole list. It was rhythm. <laughs> it was really rhythm. I ain't, ain't gonna hold him. It, it was, was rhythm. rhythm too, like, he didn't know, yeah, he didn't just know the whole shit. And Q whooped him, though. That's yeah. the whole part. I was like, this nigga got a pocket. He whooped him. How can you whoop him? How can you whoop him? Turn the song up, motherfucker. He <laughs> 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 that nigga was so fucked up. Like that. He was so fucked I'm like, God damn, I'm about to get whooped, too. <laughs> I'm over I'm there. Like, I'm I'm <laughs> you know the sick part about this is nigga Mac so sick. Mac went in the crowd though. Cause his flight was he was supposed to get on already. 
Mac was so sick, he went in the crowd and watched this nigga. He didn't text the nigga and say, do this, do that. He just sitting there and watch, waiting for this nigga downfall. Wow. <laughs> I got a video oh, watch this. I'm going to drop this on the I got a video watch of Mac watching this nigga on stage. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at You was praying on my nigga downfall. Praying on my nigga downfall. Yeah. 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 Everybody do. Everybody do. Everybody do. Mac know how he is, man. You was praying on my nigga's downfall. He took your job. My job. Yeah, he took your job. That's what they talking about. Tell him what the UK we did. No, 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 stop, man. You so tight. I'm so tight, yeah. I know, no, 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 no. was with us, I touched that Shut up, Ben Ben, because Ben Ben is really MVP, and I love you. And you did your job tonight, and you, I love you for that. I Step, got tell them you. niggas I how I just you. touched a quarter over the weekend. Yeah. yeah. He did his thing, yeah. I'm gonna say my nigga did his thing. Slip, so he, he, said, he said to tell us, he said to tell us. So, a quarter what? What, what was a quarter? A quarter uh, what? What was going quarter on? What? Quarter what mil? I made 25,000? 25, like 2,500? What was going on? No, nah, no, nah, he got a good quarter though. Quarter what? Quarter mil? Quarter, yeah. Quarter mil? I think it was working though, yeah. Quarter mil, right? Quarter M, nigga! So, so, <laughs> why he back again? And that's in the UK. Tell these dumb ass niggas. I love this nigga. Hey, listen. All right, boom. So watch this. Because you already told me, so I want you to see if you're going to take How much you get paid out of that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> A quarter? <laughs> That's tough. Man, hey, that's funny, right? Can we talk about Slim's art, man? That's more you got a quarter on that. Go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Get your ass up, because I'll get you. We, are, we messy over here. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. So we know we know where that no, no, came no, no, from, Kimmy King. Quarter. What? I didn't touch huh? the quarter. What you say? <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Sign the contract, big boy. Say it again. Sign the contract, big boy. Hey, Slim, how much you make for that trip? Real shit. I ain't gonna stay there. Why you can't stay? He can stay the quarter mil. Look, huh? he come back. He gonna do his vlog shit. If he can stay the stay the quarter mil, how much? You, how much you get paid? You know what I'm saying about? Huh? Uh, hey, I ain't get paid. Uh, okay, for sure. Y'all would never do. Y'all would never do on that day. Let's get some more nigga food. Go ahead. You got. I know you got some. Okay, yeah, my nigga food, man. Before we get into some wild shit, introduce yourself. You know what I mean? Let niggas know what you've done. Man, Who I'm you fool, are, man. all the whole shit, man. I'm fool. I got some points on the motherfucking board, man. Records, yeah. man. I got records. Num, Let num the record Jews. reflect. Num Num Jews, Gang Gang, Drinks on Us, Perfect Pints. You know what I mean? Let's name a few. You know what I'm saying? What you what, what, what you got in the South? What you got? I mean, I'm with Air Drummers, man. You know, we didn't Drinks on Put Us, Mac Ray Mac. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mike Will, the whole shit. Mike Will, the whole shit. You know what I'm saying? I love that. I love that, you know what I'm saying, my boy. He was he was one of the niggas out that I seen. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure some shit. Nah, out, this boy. nigga's this crazy, nigga, yo. This though. nigga king. Uh, no, but king, bro. no, he crazy. Nigga, but who was one of the niggas I seen in the studio too? <laughs> Q started typing on, you know, not typing, but he on the, you know what I'm saying? He on the piano, the keyboard, What's doing his thing. Move, you know? boy, you got some moves. And my boy Foo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Once my boy do that, he open his computer. He start making the beat to whatever Q doing. And I just thought he was one of the niggas just sitting, just chilling with me. He cracked the computer up and made the whole shit, nigga, to cut on the keyboard. I'm like, God damn. And now I'm looking at everybody got their laptops open. I'm like, okay, these niggas just ain't sitting here. No, no, this is at a this spot, is a, a TD. This at the spot, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? So this is my, this is my first time, like, interacting, you know what I'm saying? Because I never go to the studio with the homies. Like, I really don't, I didn't give a fuck. Like, okay, you're a rapper, that's cool. Right, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you a rapper, all right. No, I but you. I didn't know how extensive this shit was until, you know what I mean? Like, I got in there with y'all, and I seen this shit. This is... And I've been knowing my own nigga for what? Nigga, 30 years or some shit. Like, I never even seen this shit, though. But it was crazy to see you do that. Like, it was crazy. Like, it's in the mixing processes with all that seeing you doing all Do you all get that. all your credit? Do you, do you get all the credit you feel like you deserve? Yes or no? 
I mean, I ain't, a, I ain't a bitch. I ain't gonna sit there and bitch about it. I'm just gonna get mine regardless. I'm gonna do me and keep shining. Yeah. I'm gonna build it till they gonna come. I don't give a fuck if a nigga don't look at me. Oh, okay. What? I don't care about all that. Yeah. I'm me. I'm the so son. Do niggas ever take your beats and like run off with them? Oh, niggas been took swag. Niggas took swag. Niggas ran off with of swag all the time. I mean, time. life is about moments. Can you tell us about those moments? When that, when that happened? I mean, I'm not gonna go into specifics. Oh, okay. See, I'm, I'm, we gonna talk about, about we'll talk about one moment. Yeah. Let's go into the moment. I met Rick Ross a minute ago, right? At his crib with somebody. The nigga dissed the shit out of me. Get Whoa. Me. Then, Get. this nigga rapped on the Num Num Juice beat and the Drinks On Us beat. Like, you shit on my beats, but you just rapped on the remix then put it on the mixtape. Thank you for the chili, though. But yeah, that's one. Okay. Whoa. Okay, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, that's, that's... That's crazy. My boy really got real stories. We can... Oh, we, we can go. We got a lot more. That's what I'm saying. I want to know if he's going to get into it, but... If you're not getting into it, hey, Mac, don't pick it here no more, nigga. Bring one thing coming on the show. Mac, we all niggas sneaky as hell. Right now, about the other minute. You know what to say. This nigga sneaky as hell. Yeah, Kima, Kima, shit talk, bro. Hey, this nigga is funny as shit. hell, bro. He it's said niggas up. You gotta be really smart. Said I'm here. Nah, I'm here to make sure that we all get on the show. I'm here to make sure that we all get on the podcast. That that nigga 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 nigga. I'm just making sure we're here. That you the nigga. nigga. Sure. I'm here to make sure you are here. Mac, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. What happened, huh? What happened? What that nigga lying about, Tim? Ain't nobody lying. That nigga said Rick Ross, nigga, he wrapped up numb, numb juice, and give me chili. No, I got the chili, but he did it. I got the money. I didn't say that. I said I got the chili, but when we went to his crib a minute ago, the nigga dissed me and said, "Bro, I need beats like Justice League. You ain't that." But then you ended up rapping about beats. Pushing that nigga. Yeah, I was cool. That, that Rick shit don't Ross bother mushed me. you? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I come from nothing. So what that do? He nigga. mushed you though. Whoa! Get out of here. So he definitely did that. He mushed you. He didn't put his hands on me. Nah. What you mean then? He just said, "Nigga, you, I, I'm not feeling what your beats." <laughs> Hold on, we're going to do something to some nigga. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? I think he slapped the nigga. <laughs> who was it, though? It was detail. Wait. It was detail. Not just, oh, he said details. <laughs> who was it? I'm talking about nigga, right? It wasn't, I don't think he slapped you. Hey, Terrell. Hey, slap it up. Hey, Terrell. Lil Wayne slapped you. <laughs> what? He got slapped yeah, by Lil Wayne, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, Terrell, hey, tell us. Check this out, homie. I'm going to die wherever I was at, homie. I'm not gonna lie, sir, bro. After the conversation yesterday, I went, to, I went to a deep dive into your history. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga boxed like, you. Let me see what he the fuck I'm talking to. <laughs> Who are we talking to? Hey, Terrell, the brazy nigga. I didn't see, didn't see a video. A no, bro. No, bro. I didn't see the RJ. He brazy. He brazy. Oh, see. You used yeah. to rap, bro? Like, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. Come on, let's go. 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 let us <laughs> he a funny nigga. We need to put this. Nah, I've done everything. We need to put the hat. This he hat a, on. He's he done well everything. He a well-rounded man right here. That nigga. Well, I've probably to, done everything, okay. bro. Okay. You used to rap. I heard my tiger about eight years ago. And then, that was eight years ago. Yeah, eight now, right? Damn. Nah, that ain't. Boom. Boom. That was recent. Okay, seven. Okay, boom. So seven years ago, you got fired by a tiger. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's <laughs> lit. Any press, press and shit. Hey, that's the coldest part about my nigga. Hey, I'm yeah. fucking my nigga because he's hey. pressing shit. My nigga I'm chased Frank Ocean what? all through hey. the LA streets. Hey, bro. That story? Hey, bro. You don't fuck with Frank Ocean, bro? I know you pressing shit. Hey, you don't fuck with Frank Ocean, bro? Hey, girl. That's cool. We all up on us. Hey, yo. He showed up on us doing AO. Brody. You don't fuck with Frank Ocean, bro? 
he just oh, spray no. those shit. Hey, no. What oh, Frank do? He died. Oh, so you was the muscle. Where did you, you, you see that shit? So you was rapping on muscle. YouTube? He, I mean, uh, oh, we just, shit. we just. You know, what, what did you figure out, out bro? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I get seen the mic, the get the mic, get the mic. I seen the free, I seen the freestyle. You got freestyle? But I'm not gonna lie, bro, bro, bro. Hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna lie. He was actually like nice though. No cap, not that the fact I'm on his Got shit. He had some. He know how to convey. He had some. He had some. I was pleasantly surprised because I was really about to. I was about to not real shit. Yeah. I about, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some ammo on this nigga because since the first day I seen this nigga, he's been trying to be on me. So I'm like, I'm about to get some ammo on this nigga. Got a little. You feel me? So I'm about to. You feel me? I like that shit. <laughs> It's a real producer here but, talking about me hey, in a but real then, life. This it's nigga, a real he, life. He was it's definitely, real life. He was definitely <laughs> pressing shit. Nigga, I said, yeah. I'm no, the no, one no. that said no, you did that it. shit, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I, I just did that nigga. Uh, nigga. I did a reaction to his video, nigga. You did? And I said that shit was top tier get offs, like you said. No, it was not. I, was I not. said you should drop more music. I was, get it. I was so you ain't said that. Head. Wait, so I'm you was chasing down man. Frank? Go, go, he chased down I'm Frank Ocean because Frank ain't had his feature. I'm trying to figure out. Wow. Wow. How do you give him the feature? Frank, Frank ain't give him a feature, so nigga. Frank give him the feature. He started chasing what was Frank the song? Ocean. What was the song? Bro, y'all gotta come it's on. Called, it's called Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been thinking about you. That was the song you trying to get on. I've been thinking about about you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We you for that everybody. We all do no BDM. That doesn't make sense. You going to that shit. I've been thinking that. That nigga going to beat me up, mommy. Y'all niggas scared of that. That nigga scared of that. Shout out to the homie, man. Shout out to the homie, man. And you used to work with Tucker? Man, look, this shit is no, no, getting out of hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just this trying to get to know you, bro. He's trying to get to know you. I don't know what you're trying to He's trying to learn you, bro. I'm trying to get to too. Okay, yeah. Okay. That's yes. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay, yes. What you used to do. <laughs> look at the producer in the background. Um, Which one? I, um, I was a homie. Okay. I might have tour managed. Fire. Might have managed a couple things. I might have been a bully sometimes. Pull over, nigga. Yeah, get over. You see that video? Get your bitch ass over there in the first set. You a mark, nigga. Send the email. I know that's embarrassing. Are they shooting that? Are they shooting the scene? Send the email. Man, I love Frank Ocean. Shout out Frank Ocean. I should have never did that. If you ever watching this again, bro, I know you. I know they probably seen enough from the first video. They said that's cuz we didn't know it was him. We gonna they get, get the it. Nigga from yeah, we gonna get bro. Huh? Nah, no, I think they get it though. Shout out you. I I, I shouldn't have did that. I apologize, my bro. That's super what was embarrassing. The, what was the scenario though, bro? Like, that's what? crazy. If you watch that video, there's a video. Damn, I ain't even seen the video. I'm not even tapped in. Yeah, the video I know you crazy. ain't tapped in because it's embarrassing because niggas keep bringing it up. They just showed him yesterday. <laughs> he went and found that himself. No, he did. So that was the first video you seen when you typed in? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Oh, you seen RJ first? Oh, you seen RJ first? Oh, you went and did your... Why do you do it? Google. Let me just reach out to the You recorded it? Give us a highlight you know about T-Rail. You recorded it? Oh, T-Rail. Give us a highlight. Give us a highlight. Give us a highlight, Slim, because I know you a nigga the game. You fuck with Dang. Sizzle, Kiss, Jamar. He got videos for days. You heard me, J-Rock. You heard me. I remember when the Frank Ocean shit happened in real time. You did? Oh, my God. Oh, oh. I, remember, I remember seeing a body like I see the video. Oh, no, Slim was it. holding the camera. Oh, he, he was the one holding oh. the camera. Slim was holding the camera. That wasn't Slim me got, holding the camera, homie. And then King tried to say he was holding the, holding the camera. I'm glad nothing happened. It was just an argument. So hopefully, that's right. Frank no, that's can right. I love that for you because you listen. He can give me the like the fact a, that you like, got even bookmarks. That's the coldest part of my life. Nah, that's you lit, got bro. bookmarks. Good or bad, you got bookmarks. Y'all niggas crazy. Huh? You got bookmarks, dog. You was out here marking niggas out. As <laughs> soon as they announced there was pause, you like, I'm about to mark that nigga out. Oh, no, see? <laughs> oh, my God. That's a God, cold narrative. Bro. That's a cold King narrative. Going. That's a cold Yo. narrative. King Nasty. Man, that's King. nasty. Man, nasty. nasty. That's he nasty right work. Oh, I'm about to get up because I'm shady. I'm about to get up, too. All right, I'm shady. No, don't get up. Don't get up. Heather. 
No, I don't get up. Heather! No, no, That's how that gets real, Scotty. He, he, he was calling right you like that at the party. Heather! Get my nigga Heather in his seat, Blast. See, we like cracking jokes. <laughs> see, see, look at this nigga face. What you on right now? Get on those niggas. Talk about Paul. Get on you those niggas. You. Get on those niggas. No, not me. No, I'm just saying. Everybody else see you. That is, I didn't it's bring up all that It's a lot time. of Paul's moments that they went on Paul in the right clique. King, King, did you rap too? Oh, it's shit. a Paul's nah, moments that rap. went on in the clique. I ain't rap. You, you ain't never want to rap? Nah, y'all click it's a Paul's. Like what? And y'all click? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all homies. Nah, we need, we need, listen. Uh-uh. I don't know, I don't know what, what he talking about. about. What he talking about? Man, niggas was giving hit. Hey, look, hey. Niggas was <laughs> giving some hit. Hey. Damn. That's we tough. gonna clog, we gonna get off this motherfucker, but I like to, I, I fuck with my nigga pussy. though because he love himself. Yeah, you pussy. You don't want to talk he about it, nigga. <laughs> what was y'all niggas doing when you seen that video? When you seen that video, what, what video? was your reaction? Yeah. 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 What? what video? What video? You seen that video, what did you do? I seen the video of a nigga touching a 16-year-old, Joe Boy. With the 16 year old bitch, huh? <laughs> and you was proud to be on that jet with her. <laughs> you see your boy get double headed. I didn't see that. You see your boy get double headed. That's not illegal. He was getting double headed. Oh. That's not illegal. He was getting double headed. Oh. That's not illegal. Wow. You was two on that niggas jet. Like, look. What's your on the jet? What's your on the jet? What's your on the jet? Hey, all right, we go too. Yeah, we go too. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, so. Your hey, narrative didn't work, yo. so. Hey, no, we let it go. You know what I'm saying? We just cracking jokes. We love our homies, man. Whatever the fuck we're going on, we just cracking jokes, man. Love y'all to death. Hey, I don't give a fuck. Shout out though. my nigga Cal I don't give a Max. fuck. That's my nigga. Hey, if niggas want to do the split, if niggas want to split it up, let's split it up. Oh, we can, we can put no name to that. Split, what up? What's going on? I'm lost right now. I'm hey, what lost. you mean? I'm lost right no now. Parts. It's your nigga too. I don't want no parts. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, 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 no parts to that. What's you mad at reason. Hey, look, um, get out of here. Let's go ahead and get out of here. They word. They got a word. word. Get out of here. <laughs> My name is Y'all King Fuck with these niggas talking about. Because he got on a bottle of man. I'm out of it. Fuck with me. He got on a bottle of man. We still alive? We still alive? All right, no, so he's boom. still alive. He's still alive. Reason call. Reason call. Hold on, Mac. Come here. Come here, man. Oh, this reason call. Mac, yeah. myself, and Terrell Minions because he said he's getting at any nigga that did a podcast in the bottom or tweeted. Oh, Was that, you part he of that? Said, he, said, he said that, like, he said verbatim. that verbatim. Yeah. To you? Not to me, but to somebody I love and that they wouldn't lie to me. I mean, so you know that for a fact? Yeah, I know that, that he said that it was me. That we minions. So real and you. That? I'm not. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't said nothing back. I ain't, I'm asking him now because you. Shout ca- out! Shout out to the minion gang, man. M's in the chat. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> now nah, he couldn't be talking about me. My ink is dry. The ink is dry. All right for sure. What's that mean? His ink dry. His uh, he's over with. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> Shout I out to everybody that's girl. watching Back like on Fig, like man. We too. we love Names clowning, man. We all <laughs> homies in this motherfucker. Uh, real tight knit group. You feel me? Like I love being around all these niggas, no matter what's going on. <laughs> How shit happening, man? It's all funny, all jokes with us. You feel me? So don't take nothing too crazy. Only us, man. Only, only us, us, man. Only real us. shit. Only all us. the rest of you niggas is just arguing and being hoes. You know what I mean? Can't take a joke, but. Shout out Cal, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Yak in the building, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Shout out King, you know what I'm saying? Shout out what y'all niggas is doing, you know what I'm saying? What y'all doing like right now? I need both of y'all the niggas to do the year, you know what I mean? Man, right now I'm just producing, got the Q album on the way, got some shit on there, got artists doing my executive shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, right now I'm just, I'm, I'm heavy on my art shit, I paint. Do a lot of oil painting. Uh, shout out to the first show. You know, yeah, yeah. Oh, shout God. out Trigger Warning. That was about a month ago. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I still do my, five I still do my film more. shit. You said and what? Yeah, about five hundred people more in that motherfucker. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, real like shit. You gotta give us something love, bro. Do that. That was tight, man. Shout out to y'all, man. But uh, the art shit, my film shit, and then my DJing too. I'm gonna get back into that. So yeah, shout out doing. my boy, man. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Catch us on back on fig, you know what I'm saying? Monday at four o'clock, Friday at four o'clock. You feel me? We doing it, you know what I'm saying? Delio, my nigga just came back. We we up out of here. He trying to go get his shot. He ain't slick. He trying to get his shot in the video. But we yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tiny just came back. He trying to get his shot too. They called for me. Yeah, they did. I told him I was like, 
You said you was tiny? No, 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 no. He was like, I need a third person. Yeah, I was like, go get tiny. Oh, that's tight then. Yeah, me, I did. I was like, he need to transform it because he ugly. But, um... You ugly too, nigga? No, you really ugly. Hey, What's up? You gonna I didn't even get a no. No, I'm gonna I'm stall my nigga out. I'm gonna stall my nigga Tiny out. We were supposed to do the Apollo little hole, little shit. Oh, you was gonna serve me about yesterday? I was finna serve you. I was yeah. finna serve you. Cause, no, because you got cellulite in your thigh, like your, the lower thigh. Cellulite. <laughs> no, no, he got cellulite in his lower thigh. His ass was out. No, you got cellulite. You got cellulite. You got cellulite in your ass. Oh, oh my God. Hey, you log out. You got screws in your knees, bro. He got his ass out. You got his ass out. Oh, bro. 